Oh, hello. <laughs> and welcome to Friday Night Cast. Man, I didn't have my notes open right yet. The, Kayla, you're killing me here. Um, <laughs> welcome, everybody. Welcome. Surprise. Uh, what's that? Surprise. The, Wait, are you guys messing with me now? Like, we're no, not, we're live. We're live. No, we're we're live. live. You're good. We're live. You know, I don't right. Take it away. My, my internet stream. can't handle. I know the the video call and the monitoring the stream. All right, welcome everybody. Uh, it's great to have you here uh, for Friday Night Cast as we play Kids on Brooms. Are we we stretch things a little bit? We're going to do a two part finale here for you. So we had some changes in our schedule, so we're very excited to uh, work on finishing up some of these stories. Um, we are a community of applied spiritual and therapeutic tabletop gamers who use and explore the benefits of tabletop gaming in our work. Welcome, as I mentioned already. Thank you for joining us. We're grateful to have you here. Uh, if you're watching us live, feel free to throw any questions or anything you may have. I will rely on my wonderful co-players here to let me know if there's any questions I need to answer uh, as we're going through tonight. Um, we're glad to share our game here with you uh, and just have some fun. If this is your first time coming, we're so grateful that you have managed to find us. Um, if you need to get caught up on any of our games or you're curious to know more, uh, you can watch the replays on Twitch or everything is archived on YouTube as well. Um, search cast gamers, C A S T T gamers, uh, to find us. And while you're there, like subscribe, those things all help us very much. Um, so without the further ado, Tim, how about some announcements for us? Oh, I do have announcements. Uh, so Sunday, where the gaze of our lives crew will be playing Exodus, a uh, belonging outside belonging game by Finding Roots and inspired by Ezra Furman's album, Transgelic Exodus. Transangelic. Transangelic, thank you. Uh, it's a story of angels on the road, making community as they go and trying to find somewhere better. Uh, it's a game rooted in, in time an autobiography and a plan and a dream and a fear all in one. On February 18th, uh, Friday Night Cast is going to be playing Venture Village, a game that myself and Ninth Level had designed. In Venture Village, you are an animal in a world of animals. You go to school, help around town, have fun adventures with your friends, Along the way, you'll work on social emotional skills. Um, Venture Village is designed for younger players with the added level of tools for the use in therapy, teaching, and at-home skill building. Uh, you can help us bring Venture Village to life in February and uh, on Kickstarter, and the link will be uh, somewhere over here, I think, in a chat, hopefully. Or, That's good to skunk. Or down below and uh if you're watching on youtube uh, the tail is so cute oh scoot is is uh is a masterpiece mm -hmm. two-time champion i believe two-time winner of the battle of the bands mm -hmm. see ya and then on february 24th we will have the next episode of tabletop transformations where Benakam who is a uh, player of Scoot and Tanya, uh, they will be premiering the next episode. And uh, would you like to give us a little pitch for the next episode? Yeah, thanks to everybody who tuned in last night or watches on Twitch or YouTube now. Is it, we really had a fun time doing the show. That was our session zero, so to speak. And next time we will start the structure where we play different games condensed versions, 30, 45 minutes of games and discuss spiritual themes that we can, you can ex explore and examine through the games, hopefully <laughs> with as many game creators as we can get to come join us on the show. So we look forward to seeing you then. Awesome. And uh, keep an eye out for, for more things that we have coming up down the line. Um, I'm sure there'll be more announcements in, in the coming months. So, so keep tuned. I think that's it for me.
Thanks, Tim. Uh, as we like to do, a quick shout out and thank you to our uh, to the game designers of Kids on Brooms that we're playing tonight. Um, always want to thank the independent game designers uh, who create these systems and mechanics and games and worlds for us to play in and enjoy. We've been having a great time. Uh, Kids on Brooms is a collaborative tabletop role-playing game that uses the Kids on Bikes system in a world of magic, mystery, and adventure. Uh, designed by Jonathan Gilmore, Doug Lewandowski, and Spencer Stark. Uh, check out renegadegamestudios.com, kids-on-brooms, slash. Uh, or if you're lucky enough to find it at your local game store. Uh, support your friendly neighborhood game store if you can, please. We want to keep those around. That is my favorite part of the, the intro is kids dash on dash broom slash. <laughs> that's what it, that's, it's a weird, it's a weird website. It's it makes just, it sound very violent. <laughs> it's actually violence is discouraged. It can have very mm -hmm. real consequences. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You may find out tonight at some point. No, uh, what? Somebody, <laughs> who let that pigeon in all right so uh that brings us to a quick recap of last time on yale capades uh i'm gonna do my best to remember what happened last time i didn't make notes for myself and i'm thinking about all the things i want to happen tonight uh but previously we started with uh the crew in Lexa's dorm uh, as Calvin prepared a potion to try and help Lexa who had been uh, knocked unconscious by the leech. Uh, Calvin uh, expertly copied several memories, uh, stirred them into a potion which Riley administered to Lexa. Uh, then Jelly, Eliza, and Calvin met up with Roberts uh, to go see the captain on the ship. Uh, and the captain had informed the crew of his plan to, I guess you could say, exact revenge in some ways, but more so to redistribute some power uh, and kind of destroy the power structure here at Yale uh, amongst the societies to those who he felt were as courting the power for their own good and want, wanting to help people more with magic. Um, was there anything after that? Or then Lexa woke up, I believe, after that. That was pretty much everything. I don't think we did. Um, That's what I'm trying Eliza, to Eliza uh, tried a new spell with her conch shell. Mm -hmm. Oh, that communication spell. The <laughs> communication spell, yes. Yes. So, yeah. So that's what happened last time. And yeah, uh, I, think there's... I think we ended with Lexa kind of tossing and turning a bit in their sleep and then opening their eyes and waking up. So with yeah. that, Menachem, I'll turn it over to you next. Thank you. We get now ready to enter the magic circle of play, the space where we let go of the regular rules and activities of daily life, and we jump into the roles of our characters. And to do that, we start with asking a couple of questions of the players, and then we do a ritual to step into the circle. So this is the finale of our first year of college. Part one. So in, in light of that, what are your concerns, your, your questions, your emotions about today's game? I'll go first. Uh, for Calvin, not for, for, not for Tim, but for Calvin, I think, I think the concern is he hasn't like integrated very well with the non-magical book like he wanted. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think uh, Calvin's going to get to do this in his first year. 
And I wonder how, with the passing of time in between school semesters, how much Calvin will change, trying to integrate into uh, the non-magical world. Uh, I'll pop it over to Dustin. To me, oh, wow. Yeah, I, I feel like I've been saying this for a little bit now, but one of my biggest things is uh, trying to get a number of different resolutions uh, and have everyone happy with, with where we end. And we were discussing before we went on a little bit uh, about what that may mean for different characters and everything. So uh, I've got a lot in my head and my biggest concern is like missing something that I wanna make sure uh, I make part of this uh, finale. I'm glad with our kind of change in scheduling where uh, things change the last minute, we can add another episode in now uh, to make it a two-parter because that gives me a little more. I'm thinking about it now and like, I don't know how I do all this uh, with just one more session left. So, um, and I, I still got some, some tricks up my sleeve. So I'm excited about that. Uh, I'm going to send it over to uh, Kayla next. Kayla, it's nice to see you again. I, yeah, I'm excited to be back. Welcome uh, back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, remind me, what was the question? What are your concerns, questions, emotions going into this part one of our finale of our first year at college? Uh, you know, I am a little anxious. <laughs> uh, but also uh, really excited because I've been moving Lexa to this, this, um, this interaction since the beginning, um, and uh, it should be good. It, it may be slightly heartbreaking. I don't know. <clears throat> we'll find out. Uh, Lara. <laughs> <laughs> Um, also anxious. Um, <laughs> I think, I think it's going to be good. I think what Kayla and I have talked about is going to be good. I think it's going to be hard. I think emotions are going to be hard, just emotions. Um, and, but I am really excited. Uh, also anxious because I'm not a person who really likes the spotlight on me too much. And the spotlight <laughs> is about to be on me and Kayla. So um, there's that. But but it's going to be good, I hope. I hope we do it, do it justice. Um, and I'm going to pass it to, uh, to Neil. Um, I would say that I have two concerns going in. I mean, once again, I know absolutely nothing that's going to happen. So the audience can prepare to see all the expression <laughs> on my face. We love it, Tanil. It's we our favorite. It. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I just, yeah. I'll I just kinda... watch your face the entire time. <laughs> watch my face. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm sure that I'm going to give you guys some interesting reactions. So, because uh, I, yeah, I know nothing. So, um, so that's going to be great. Um, in character, um, there's a lot going on inside Eliza and uh, there's gonna be like a transformation and you might see a bit of that subtly. So I'm gonna be really trying to work on immersing myself into the character and trying to do the best that I can to express that. Um, but I'm sure that we'll talk more about it in a debrief. Um, out of character, I just had oral surgery this morning. Um, <laughs> so I had, a, I had a wisdom tooth pulled out, um, but uh, you know, I'm feeling good. I just took my pain medication. Um, I've taken before. It's not like something that's gonna make me really sedated or anything. Um, so I think I'm gonna be okay. Uh, and hopefully it won't be anything that'll distract me from immersing um, in the process, so looking forward to that and I will pass it on to Scott uh I uh much like my character Roberts am kind of just like resigned um you know what whatever happens happens uh and that's fine um 
I, I suppose resigned has kind of a, a bad connotation. Um, I'm, I'm at peace with whatever uh, will happen to Roberts. Um, uh, while we were all kind of checking in before the game started, I, I said like, you know, there's there's a lot going on and uh, the rest of the group has been playing for, for uh, a, a season longer than me. And um, so I feel like there's a more of a priority for, for you guys to have resolution. And I'm really excited as a player to see those stories resolved. Um, which I think maybe probably speaks to like what we all do for work because we're always more interested in like what's going on with the other person um, than ourselves. So maybe maybe it's a reflection of that. Um, Menachem, finish this off, buddy. All right. Parenting has been the best thing I've ever done. And so when it comes to playing characters with parents involved, I get it on my feels. So um, I'm not expecting to resolve the missing father this season, but I'm looking forward to and a little anxious about getting just something to hook us into next season. And also, I don't really know why everyone's so interested in Jelly. And I'm looking forward to getting some more information about that. I mean, obviously he's doing some cutting edge research and he's you know showing his brain power but not really sure what it is that they're all looking for from me so curious is the emotion so i think we gave pretty substantive answers to that question so i'd like to say we move into the name ritual and we'll do that by saying our player names and welcoming each other by everyone repeating the name then we'll say our character names. And, um, but before we do that, I think there's one more step that we always, I always skip right over before we get in there. And is there anything we need to check in about lines and veils or anything like that before we get going? Put up my roll 20, that's for one. A good reminder. <laughs> uh, I don't <laughs> have do anything. You roll dice in this game. Do we want to go over the lines of veils? Um, yeah, let's go over the lines and veils. Okay. Let me do that. I'm opening up my roll 20. Well, we our it? lines are suicide, ritual sacrifice, childhood trauma, animal brutality, animal death, animal torture, sexual violence, drug overdose, and no physical touch without consent. And then we clarified that that means no like sexual or... Uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Groping, so, fondling. Gro groping or fondling, right? Anything of that sort of nature. We are fine with there being in this world homophobia, transphobia, racism, and anti-Semitism, but we have a veil there. We're not going to have overt acts of any of those, but they can happen off screen or in fade to black, and we can deal with repercussions of those, but not the actual actions. Is that where we're at still? That's where we're at. That's where I am. Thumbs up. Is, is still good. Everyone else good? And right. also a good reminder, I feel like we haven't done it in a little while. Um, <clears throat> X card, X card, um, if you need it, um, feel free to put it up. Put an X in the chat if you don't want to share it on the stream uh, and uh, in our private chat here. And also open door policy if anybody needs to get up walk away use the bathroom get something to eat we're human beings do what you need to step away for a moment if you have to no worries um so yeah or any other safety tools that i think we're all pretty familiar with um those are two that i most commonly use so thank you for saying that dustin what's that for giving me permission to go to their bathroom if I need to, because I, <laughs> I really do hold it for long periods of time. <laughs> yeah, we, we, don't, we don't take a halfway break on this show, I realized. Um, I'm usually fine, but, you know, uh, yeah. I mean, sometimes- We, we get know. pretty absorbed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. But if you're not in a scene, you know, one of us might step away. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess maybe that's what it is for me as like the GM, like I'm paying attention to everything. Like I have to be aware of everything all the time. Um, But uh, yeah, I mean, if you're not in a scene and you need to do something, that's fine. No questions asked. All right, let's do the names. Yeah. So same order. Hi, I'm Tim. Hey, Tim. Hey, Tim. 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 And I play Calvin. Hey Calvin. Calvin, hey, Calvin, buddy. Hey, Calvin. Hey, Calvin. And I'm Dustin. I'm hey, Dustin. Dustin. Hey, Dustin. And I, as I just mentioned, will be your game master tonight. Hello, Hello game, master. game master. You're the best Hello, game, game master, master ever. <laughs> wow, that was the nicest intro that anyone's even given me. Uh, hi, I'm Kayla. Hey, Kayla. Howdy, hey, Kayla. Kayla. Welcome back, Kayla. Welcome. And I play Lexa. I like hey, Alexa. Alexa. Hey, Alexa. I'm glad you're awake. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm Laura. Hey, Laura. Hi, Laura. Hi, Laura. And I play Riley. Hey, Riley. Hey, Riley. Hey, Riley. Hey, I, look, I look forward to your date. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. Hi, guys. I'm Tanil. Hi, Tanil. Hey, Tanil. Hey, Tanil. <laughs> And I play Eliza Goldenflower. Hey, Eliza. Hey, Eliza. Hey, Eliza Goldenflower. Hello. Golden Hello, child. And golden flower, I mean. Good evening, everyone. I'm Scott. Hey, Scott. Hello, Scott. 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 And I play Roberts. Hello, Roberts. Hey, Roberts. Hey, Roberts. Hey, Roberts. My name is Menachem. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Menachem. Hello, Menachem. And I play Jelly the Jalanthar. Jelly hey, hey, Jelly. Hey, Bestie. Hey. <laughs> Where did you do that for Alexa? <laughs> he did it. <laughs> Le- Lexa was knocked out for like a half a season. <laughs> it's just two episodes. two episodes. We know they're close. We don't have to pick on. Really, it's like He's an eight two season, I believe. But okay. <laughs> With that, we play. We play. All right. So <laughs> let's move over and start with Lexa. Uh, Lexa, you have, uh, you last remember leaving your father's place on the lawn about to leave when something flew at you with a sudden cold overwhelming you, plunging you into darkness. Like sleep, this darkness overwhelms you, but not nearly as restful. You see many flashes rush over you, visions, memories. There's so many and it's hard to concentrate on any one, but they all end in a similar way. Screams for help, asking why, vowing revenge, and then cold darkness. You then find yourself in a dark, barren space, walking around, looking for anything to get your bearings, but there's just nothing here. You think you see a reddish blue shape in the corner of your eye. You turn to look, hoping to catch sight of anything that might give you direction, but as you turn, just more darkness. What do you do here? Um. Um, uh, where's the shape? <clears throat> it's like in your peripheral, you thought you saw yeah, something, okay. you know, like if you rub your uh, eyes and yeah, then yeah. like you open them and you have these kind of speckles, but you can't quite figure yeah. out where they're coming from. Okay. Um, hello. Just almost like, like you hear your voice but it's like also then gone, right? Like, like screaming into a void. It's just a uh-huh. barren scape. Uh, Calvin, did you make me drink a potion? As you. Anybody? <laughs> as you say that, Calvin, did you make me drink a potion? You get this kind of flash as you think about Calvin and his potion making, right? And 
suddenly like a flash in front of you and you see yourself sitting in school in Salem, Calvin making potions. And there's a kind of warmth and familiarity with it. And then it just kind of fades and back to nothingness. That's weird. Um... So after a bit of time here, <laughs> as you're kind of walking around in this darkness, you feel like you maybe start to adjust your vision. Uh, you could see small reddish and purple dots almost floating all around you. Like yeah. you try and touch them and, and there's nothing there. Slightly brighter streak will move quickly out in different directions, almost on what you can only describe as the horizon. And for the first time, you see one whiz, whiz right past you, startling you as it's speed and this uneasy feeling in your chest. You've had dreams that you've attempted to interpret before, but this is different somehow. And as you're trying to catch your bearings, figure out what's going on here, where you are exactly, things suddenly change again without warning. The black fades as your eyes have adjusted into this space almost, and your eyes hurt as things become very bright and you kind of blink and refocus. You see Calvin in front of you, looking at the grimori. You get a bit upset, slam the book shut, looking up at Calvin with a nod. And Jelly is there with you, arguing with you. You hear Jelly say, you stupid fucking idiots in this pure blood crap. Let it all go. Stop doing that shit. It fades. And then you find yourself standing up on a bench outside the school in Salem at the skate park. You yell at everyone there, listening, and you, you say to everyone, would you stop believing everything you hear? Eliza's my friend and it's not true, okay? Stop believing, stop being so pity, all of you. Stop being so petty, all of you. Everything fades again. You find yourself in the courtyard this time, outside the Salem School of Botany and Other Magical Wonders. Everyone's holding these sticks. Something feels off here compared to the other flashes. A familiar place, but you're unsure about what's going on. You look over to your right and you see Riley looking back at you. You give them a soft, welcoming smile. She smiles back. Everything starts to fade, but Riley's look at you lingers like an after image burned into the growing darkness. You hear a whisper as everything returns to darkness once again. I need you to remember, Lexa. What do you do? Uh, am I still in this like dark space? It goes to dark <clears throat> again and your eyes are adjusting and it's just pitch black again all around you. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I can, I, so there's just, just, just darkness. It feels, yeah, it feels like a dream, but yeah, it's different to you somehow, right? You've studied your dreams. You've <clears throat> tried to interpret them mm -hmm. almost not sure what this is seems like memories in can some i way. just like try waking up <laughs> how, how do you do that I, I have no idea i'm gonna pinch myself <laughs> you're gonna pinch yourself this is just a dream <laughs> um 
can I can I take a little liberty here with this? Yeah. <laughs> this border this borderlines on like physical touch without consent, but I like <laughs> want you to kind of like slap yourself a little bit or something. Like you pinch and it doesn't work. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, come on, nice. come on, wake up, wake up. And like you're like, do it like you try throwing yeah. yourself on the ground, maybe like <laughs> Yeah. I mean trying to figure out what's going on, right? I'm I'm quite confused. And you do this a bit and you kind of just resign yourself. All right, I'm going to just, I just need to lay down for a minute, figure this out, think about it. And you just kind of like lay back and it feels like falling and you kind of flail for a moment and you wake up and you find yourself in your bed. You know, that terrible, like yeah. jar, jump startle yeah. awake. Uh, yeah. You get that. And uh, you find yourself in your bed, in your room, okay. with Riley sitting in a chair next to you. Uh, hi. Uh, Riley, like, is exhausted. Um, like half awake, half asleep. Half awake, but, like, jumps. Uh, are... Alexa, you're, you're up. Um, what do you remember? Uh, I, I remember cold and these like memories and this like dark place I couldn't get out of. And then I just fell and woke up. And before that, before the darkness, uh, we were at my dad's that, the I, well, I guess it is, I suppose it is his place, but we were at the, we're, the island. Okay. Why? Okay. <laughs> um, there's the thing that that attacks all of you. Uh, uh, tried to take some of your memories, and um, oh, we've been trying our best to help you remember. So you, you know, you know who I am. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, uh, and were you worried she... I wasn't going to remember who you were? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I thought you were going to forget all of us. Um, Not possible. And then she's going to like jump forward and like go in for a big like a hug and I'm so <laughs> glad you're okay <laughs> uh, Lexa will accept the hug and, and hug back <laughs> okay um, I'm glad I'm okay I, too I, I we were worried we thought you were gonna die <laughs> <laughs> or lose your memory or your your dad sent one of the professors here. He did. Uh, yeah. Uh, Why? Professor Belafonte? Uh, just to check on you. And oh, you yeah, know, professor, the head of, yeah. You know, Professor Belafonte is the head of yeah. Skull and Bones, or like what? oversees <clears throat> Skull and Bones as the professor. Well, I wonder what they wanted. Whatever it is, it's no good. <laughs> hmm. That's probably true. I'm, uh, I'm just, I'm. So what happened? What you, wait. you've been asleep for? How long have I been day. asleep? Almost a day. <laughs> wow, that's a really long time. Where's everyone else? Talking to the captain. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Um, maybe I, I'll, and I'm going to text them and everybody gets a group text. Lex is awake. <clears throat> um, so, so really, like, y you're okay. <laughs> I, I mean, I think so. I don't, I mean, I, y yes. <laughs> um, Riley's gonna squeeze tighter on the hug, and then as she pulls back, 
is is gonna give Lexa a kiss. <laughs> well, Lexa will re return the kiss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but like, Lexa is going to kind of pull away a little bit, and uh, do, do you remember? Uh, I said we would talk after I met with my dad. Yeah, and I was worried you were going to forget that. <laughs> no, I didn't forget that. <laughs> um, and then she's going to, like, proceed to kind of, like, look around and kind of be like, where's my backpack? I don't know if your back... Because it's not in it's not in your backpack. Um, right. I don't know if your backpack made it back here. Um. I I had to I had to take you on the broom back. Oh. Uh, Wait, you did what? Yeah. Um. Roberts was just standing there, like he was going to bring you back to safety when okay. you were knocked out, and I I brought you back. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh. I really need my backpack. She's going to like frantically start looking for the backpack. What, what do you need your backpack for? Uh, well, I there's something inside I need to show you. The, the book that Calvin gave me? Uh, Calvin gave you a book? Yeah, Ooh. Calvin Calvin gave me his backpack. Uh, and he said there was something really important that meant a lot to you in it. That, and it was a book. Uh, and, can I see the book? <laughs> yeah, sure. And Riley's gonna look around and, um, grab the back backpack probably under the chair that she's sitting on and hand Lexa the backpack. <laughs> Great. She's going to like look inside the backpack. Kelvin, what's inside your backpack? <laughs> a lot of stuff. There's some weird ass <laughs> shit in that backpack. <laughs> yes, please describe to us what is actually it, the contents of your backpack. In Inside of my book bag, <laughs> my backpack is uh so first thing you see which confuses the shit out of you is uh looks like dried like fingernail clippings you see uh some strange looking pebbles that are brown you find uh a little jar that looks like has toadstools in it you find mm. uh a jar of basil that's dry. Man, Calvin's really weird. Yeah, and then the big book, <laughs> the book, the book. Also, also, I'm gonna add that uh, you've got some mealworms and dandelion greens in there. Oh, yeah, Love that's it. right. I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah. All right. Um, I, I'm be like, oh, here it is. Um, I, I picture you're kind of taking these things. That, oh, like and like yeah. don't. Oh, what is what? <laughs> The, and and Riley's not even phased by some of the stuff because she uses like the herbs and stuff and yeah yeah. This I like is... that you like pull up the mule worms and be like, tell me he's not still eating those. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like, guess I'm gonna have to bring him dinner too. Um, now he eats Shake Shack. <laughs> that's that's a good point. Um, I'm gonna take so I'm gonna grab the book and. Uh, kind of look at it <clears throat> and uh he's gonna kind of so you might want to like how about we how about we sit down let's sit oh, oh, okay i mean the two uh, of you are sitting on the bed i mean we i thought we were standing and hugging well, but i guess she, she's sitting works. on the bed and you're like let's sit down and you're like <laughs> shit i'm the only one actually standing I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, right, right, yeah, yeah i mean this that, that track that that totally that makes would sense. Track yeah. with no for real feeling right now <laughs> Um, okay. I, I so, am sitting uh, down. Yeah. <laughs> great. Yeah. No, you are. All right. Well, I'm going to sit. <laughs> uh, um, this Lex is going to sit down. Um, 
so, so this, this book, um, has been in Salem for a very long time. Um, very long time. And she, uh, Lex is going to, what arm is your, um, <laughs> the scar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say I can't remember what one got messed up I last time, but I we're gonna say the either. we're gonna say the right the right arm Great. is the one that has the scar. Right. Mm -hmm. So so um Lex is going to like <laughs> is going to like reach out and, and touch the scar and kind of say so um I can explain how how you got how you got this. You, you uh, yeah, you and Calvin already told me it was the headmaster at the school. Um, that's that's not true. Wait. <clears throat> <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. So, <sighs> but but. We convinced we we said we told other people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. that would be so, something Calvin would do, uh, and it was just in our best interests. But that's not true. Um, my family has been around for a very long, very has been in, in Salem for a very very long time. Yeah, yeah, I I I got that. <laughs> um, Calvin's has too. And it was very important. Um, well, Jelly's family also, but they're not as extreme. Um, but it's very important to those families that information is collected and m monitored. Monitored. Uh, <laughs> yes um can I, can I ask are you looking at the book i have not opened it it is like okay. sitting on my lap uh <clears throat> so um well you know i mean you can just you know you can open the book and turn to page 185 <laughs> she's gonna make riley do it <laughs> she's gonna like hold it out and kind of open it and and just say and you can You can see, so she'll open her page. Um, <laughs> Are you opening to Riley's page? Uh, Lexus or page, Lexus, Lexus okay. family's page. Uh, sure. And it's like long, very long. It's like a family tree and there's names and <clears throat> all of that. Um, and then she'll turn to Calvin's page. Um, and you like start to kind of notice there's like, it, the, the the roots and the tr like the tr the connectings are like connected via like what looks like blood uh, and still flip some more and uh, you see jelly and jelly's family's in there and Eliza <laughs> <laughs> the uh, eyes are gonna get big like so it's like you know it's kind of like a I guess genealogical. It's like a family tree type book, only it's used to track who has magical powers and like how they get them. Um, and so, for like, so as Jelly would put it, all that, what is it, pure blood crap, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, it is kind of bullshit uh it's taken me a very quite a while to to realize that um there's expectations in a family like mine and calvin helped me meet those expectations um But I don't 
I love, I, it's so yeah. funny because Riley's really smart, but she's still not connecting yeah. all of the dots. Like, yeah. <laughs> but but like I haven't. It's been difficult to follow those expectations recently, and so I left this book at home. I was not planning. I didn't bring this book, but I knew when I saw this book at my father's they he was planning on asking me to follow expectations again um and i don't think i want to do that anymore um You're saying a lot, but not saying, <laughs> but not saying a lot. Like, uh... Is that in character? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I had a I had a dream that that I uh, would have to be honest with you about some things, and um, um to. And then uh, Alexa's just going to turn to Riley's page. And it's just Riley. Actually. Oh, gosh. Because <laughs> you've been to Riley's page. You're not the only one. We're not the only ones that have been plotting, Kayla. <laughs> you don't remember this, but you, you see some notes in the margin next to Riley's name. Uh -huh. You see Riley's name circled. And you see that kind of connector that blood connector that you described, right? Yeah. Going up <clears throat> and off the page someplace else. And you see in the margins, investigate further. Oh, this is new. <laughs> and also notes that she's a firstborn caster. How she, can she be tied to the old families did have you have you opened this book yet i haven't i have i didn't like calvin i'm gonna throw calvin under the bus <laughs> calvin um <clears throat> told me i could look at the book um but i yes, was too <laughs> I, I was too i was i was a bit distracted so i mm. i let it i i just let it be well also it was it was your book i don't i don't want to go through your stuff i mean it is my book but it's not my book like i don't it's i don't own this book i just I mean, had ownership of it for like the last two years of school but it was like I, a I, forced ownership like a library so, book I, <laughs> that you just never brought back. Yeah, right, right. Like it's not really mine, but yeah. I own it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's um, you. So Alexa, as, as you look a little closer, you also see another note next to Riley's name in all this in the margins that this line was a like this. This bloodline was erased during the trials of 1962. Or sorry, not 1962. 1962. Goodness. All right. <laughs> I know what you 16, meant. 16, yeah. 1692. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. No, it's all right. Um, hmm. <sighs> um, that's interesting. So. It was easy doing what they wanted me to do for a very long time because I, for a very long time, bought into the idea that pure bloods, descendants, should be the most powerful casters. But, um... But then, like, Eliza brought you into our friend group, and things changed. 
um, my Riley's you, definitely like <laughs> quiet. <laughs> uh, like he, everything I had been told and and believed about firstborn casters <laughs> uh, wasn't what you were uh and i found that i like thought you were interesting and n we did this thing and now i have to be honest about it <laughs> uh which is complicated because like I love that the internal fonts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at this point, she's like, no I filter. have no, yeah. It, like, I, we have spent a lot of time together. Uh, so, like, I, I like, I, I feel like, I might be falling in love with you, but also I, I like owe you an apology <laughs> because Calvin and I did this thing and I don't, Does, I don't expect you to like forgive us. I just want to linger on that for a moment where you're like, <laughs> I might be falling in love with you, <laughs> but I owe you an apology. <laughs> <clears throat> Riley's and, looks like her brain hurts right now. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so, 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 what, what did you do? Um, so, in order to get in this book, the book has to accept your blood. Which means the headmaster, the headmistress wasn't the one that bit you. She's not a vampire. And, and I'm, I'm guessing it was Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> um, I only I'm, laughed. I'm not laughing in character. I'm laughing out of character because Tim is making the both of us, the both of us are like more serious than either one of us is being right now. Yeah. Um, uh, yes, Calvin did bite you, and then I took the blood and put it in the book because that's what we were asked to do. Well, more like ordered to do. And I know um, I don't expect you to for forgive me. Um, that's kind of like a big, I mean, we took your blood. <laughs> yeah, kind of a, it's kind of a big deal. Uh, but I don't believe. You, you know that like, she's like. I don't know if she's, I don't think she's crying, but yeah. I think there's like the, the mystic, like God. I, I, I was gullible last, you, you all could have just asked me for some blood and I probably would have given it to you. I, you all tricked me into doing, <laughs> I don't know, a lot of other things. <laughs> Um, I, I don't think we thought asking was an option. That's not how they told us to do it. Um, I, I don't, <clears throat> I don't, e I don't even, I don't even know what to say. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, well, 
Surprise. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> um, uh, <clears throat> so Lex is going to try to reach for your, uh, your hand. Uh, and, and say, like, I know, I, I know this is a lot of information. Uh, it's important that I'm honest with you because I don't believe the things that this book represent. And I don't expect you to trust me anymore, um. But I'll. Oh, I, I don't know if I trust anyone anymore. <laughs> that that's fair. Uh, but I will do whatever it takes to prove that you can trust me. Starting with burning this book, <laughs> um, in my dorm room. <laughs> um, I. So that's Lexus. a dorm room violation. So, <laughs> so um, of course. but 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 we're gonna keep we're gonna keep your page because this is concerning. And then she's gonna tear out uh she's gonna tear out Riley's page and give it to Riley. And Riley's um, gonna shove it in her backpack. Um, she did not pull away from you, like reaching <laughs> for her hand. Um, <laughs> but she's like kind of staring off and yeah. just like yeah I I, I don't this yeah. is uh, there's a there's a lot mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. I I don't I don't I I don't I don't know how I feel right now <laughs> that's that's fair you can take all the time you need. I'll be here. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, it's your dorm room. <laughs> it is your dorm room. <laughs> true, but also that's not why Lexa's not going anywhere. Uh, Lexa was going to want wants to cast a, a fire spell. Okay. Great. Let's see if you burn the whole dorm down. Huh? <laughs> uh, sure. You're. How, how are you doing this? Uh, I was just gonna cast like a. I, I assume that there's like a just a basic like fire spell that like makes like a fireball or something. Like, are you putting it like in a trash can? Are you laying it on your bed? Uh, like, no, I'm not putting a, it on the bed. I was gonna. There's a cauldron in your room. There is. I'll put it in the cauldron. Okay. Is the movie? Kelvin, would the magical fire that you started for the cauldron still be going that you had set up or? Probably. Probably. You probably didn't put that out before you no. left. I mean, uh, you're at, I'm you're very, good. very responsible. Yeah. Yeah. Cal yeah. That seems like Calvin. Be like, all right, I did my thing. I'm going to go now. Left somebody else to clean up your mess. Eliza does send a text message to the group. See if she can do magic, if she remembers how to do magic. But now Riley is the one not attention. answering. <laughs> Riley's like not got, you know. Um, so you I guess. You don't have your phone. You don't know where your phone is right now, Alexa. Yeah, I bet I don't. <laughs> uh, well, Alexa's going to move towards the cauldron and say, I see uh, Calvin's been up to stuff. <laughs> yeah, um, Calvin spent the good part of a day putting together a potion so that we could help you remember he gathered our memories huh. of you to to give to you that must have been what i saw there was i, I saw some flashes of memories yeah yeah he uh he pulled through i was worried he was gonna fuck it up and he he pulled through he can be like that sometimes um uh so i am going to put the book in the flaming cauldron sure yeah the flames are like under the cauldron there's kind oh, of yeah. like a self-contained like wherever it, it wherever the fires are the book is going in the fire there's still something bubbling away in the cauldron and you're like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, 
I mean, you scoop you scoop part of this potion up, but there's like still more liquid in there. I imagine like you just did a small yeah. potion bottle, so there was a lot of grapefruit juice for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, so you can you can toss the book under there, and it it'll catch flame and start to burn. What do you do as it starts to burn? Uh, I'll sit back down on the the bed and just watch it and i'm just going to kind of whisper uh for what it's worth i'm i'm really sorry so who wants to be the one to awkwardly interrupt at this moment <laughs> i think it'd be perfect if it was calvin you got it calvin <laughs> can, we, can, we, can we all get back yeah, so you're all yeah. you're all. But retrained. Calvin's gonna be the first one through the door, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. You have re you had all received a text that she was awake, um, as you were like finishing up with the captain and receiving some armaments, uh, from Roberts. So, you would have. It it was a little ways away, so it took some time for you to return. You hurried back as quickly as possible. And Calvin, you're the first one to like. You don't. Do you yeah. even knock? Like, oh, it's it's like a, and right in. Okay, like a courtesy <laughs> knock, but like, yeah. and then right in. R Riley's gonna look up. Hopefully, and... they have clothes on. Oh my god! <laughs> what? Did he did a lot of this? Did you say that out loud? <laughs> did, you, did you say that out loud? Yeah, Eliza's okay. gonna <laughs> like kind of murmur that as like oh. Calvin just goes in. Like, when, like when, I, okay, like, okay. Do you like murmur it over to Jelly, maybe? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's like, I, yeah, she's like, I hope they have clothes on. Uh, well, when Calvin comes in, Riley looks up. There's tears like in her eyes, but like, and just like she pulls her sleeve down over her scar and just kind of looks away and is just like, like <laughs> shakes her head. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, <laughs> hi. Uh, hi. Uh, you should. You should probably. You're gonna probably have to explain some things to Eliza. And then I'm just gonna kind of like look there's at a, the book. There's a book burning. I'm just gonna kind of like continue to watch the book. <laughs> I'll, I'll kind of yeah. wave. I wave Eliza in first ahead of me. Yeah, Eli Eliza will come in after Calvin and. And she'll like put like a light hand on his shoulder, like you really need to give people a chance to respond. Like they they could have been doing something private. Uh, a book's on fire next to you. <laughs> oh yeah, I think Calvin just like bright eye, like mm. yeah. There's a very uh, you, yeah. As as you say that, you kind wrong of kind of attention. You look, look down, you, you you see a very old book on fire on the floor. Uh, yeah, like, how does Eliza feel about that? <laughs> uh um oh um, wait I'm is gonna that... retcon i'm gonna retcon one thing sure. as riley is putting the page in her backpack Alexis sees a page where the notes from the spirit where they, and there's a picture of the book on the on the page of notes the the spirit uh she talked about earlier this season oh, yeah that's right um, and you you yeah you're kind of just like not really thinking about out. it, it yeah. it's like right there in your backpack and you just like stuff it in mm -hmm. uh, eliza sees the burning book and she looks at calvin is isn't that that book that you gave to riley and then um, she looks at riley and she's like what riley are, are you all right and riley's just kind of like i i, I don't know <laughs> I feel like I'm missing something here. I feel like I am missing something too. And I feel like I am also uh you know like more than, you know you know more not than missing you, you something. Think you're not missing something, Calvin. <laughs> um Calvin is just like should we put that out or burn it more? Leave it alone. Burn it more? Yes. It's going to it's going to burn to ash. So, I guess it is the time. Yes. 
oh, it's it's the t- the time. I think it's already been the time, Calvin. Goodness. I think you owe people apologies, Calvin. We, we we have a lot of information to give you guys, just, just so you know. The captain kind of like knocked me over with some hey, Cal- 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 Calvin needs <laughs> Riley Riley's like Riley's so Riley says it and is like, so so Eliza, did you know they took your blood? <laughs> 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 Wait, <laughs> you, you mean the vampire, the teacher vampire? No, or? no, no. These two, these two, <laughs> pointing at, at Calvin and and Lexa. Mm, yeah, true. it's true. It, it, it they is took factual. Our- yes. <laughs> um. Yes. It. They. It, it's all recorded in that book. That's now going to burn to ash. So. Um. About that sugar plum, um, <laughs> <laughs> they took sugar they, they took my blood too. Uh, so there oh. was there was um, well, you've met my father, and yes. you've met Lexa's father. Yes, and have you um <laughs> ever experienced? A, one of their lectures about, um, well, okay. So they made us um, take people's blood to, um, well, um, see where they were in magical history. It's true. You mean our genealogy? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. By by stealing our blood. By <laughs> so, stealing our blood. Yeah, they. <sighs> it sounds it it is as bad as it sounds. So, and then La- and then and then yeah, Calvin nice. is the one who told me about the vampire headmaster of the school and convince me to convince other people oh oh yeah i remember that rumor that you were well i didn't know if it was true or not but i actually i actually think riley's more mad at calvin than (laughs) my getting really like anxious right now and like things start to grow and Oh my goodness, I I got an info bomb from the captain, but this is a real bomb right now going off. I I don't in my friend's defense, in my friend's defense, we know that these are the same people who will kill one of their own for going against them. That's true. I mean, I did I did think Jelly was dead for like a year. We literally thought we watched Tristan die. Oh, at their wow. hands. This is true. Yes. So they acted irresponsibly and unforgivably because they might have been afraid of meeting the same fate. Oh, you were afraid. And oh. and like and like I like I told Lexa, all they would have had to do was ask. Ask us. Yeah, that's true too. I mean, I, I'm all about and I give you guys like scathing looks. <laughs> I, I, I didn't I, know it was an option. I am the sorry. <laughs> that, I mean that that is a huge violation. I think I think if we're using board games to describe your feelings right now, it's more trouble than sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I I I don't know what to say. I kind of want to slap you and choke you at the same time. <laughs> Oh, please. Not be laughing! Oh my god, <laughs> that's not Riley's not laughing. Well, Riley's I'm, just like <laughs> um, Alexis. Alexis, Alexis is gonna look at Riley and be like, "I'm really glad you didn't respond that way." <laughs> the scary way or the fun way? Oh my god! Uh, the, scary, you, I, I the scary way. Oh, no. The scary I way. I slap Calvin. <laughs> the scary way, not the fun way. <laughs> I would do the back of the head whap to Calvin. 
Thank you for that, Jelly. I appreciate that. Ugh. I think oh, I'm, I'm Riley's gonna lean over to Lex and just, I, I couldn't, I couldn't do that to you. <laughs> yeah. If, if it makes you feel better, you can do it to me. Oh, you mean I can choke you? <laughs> <laughs> You'll, you'll let me choke you to death. <laughs> I'm, jo- oh. I'm joking. I wouldn't do it to death. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, okay, Eliza, okay, okay. Eliza, wait. Eliza, Eliza Just does murder. Black out. <laughs> I don't murder. <laughs> okay, we, we are apologizing. <laughs> I don't think I've heard an apology from Calvin. <clears throat> When he said, I am the sorry, that's what he was That was Calvin's to. apology. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was, yeah, that was confusing. Uh, I mean. Yeah, I mean just keep, I think, Calvin just keeps looking around the room like. Just lots of feelings expressed tonight. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Jelly, you, kn- you knew about this? I was dead. You knew dead. about this the whole time? I was dead. <laughs> I was gone for a year, remember? You when you were in the I thought you were in a different place. I, didn't I was, think you were dead. but I was not here. I wasn't here right. when this was happening. Right. But when you came back, did you think we knew? I'll tell you the truth, I did not consider it. Oh now Jelly's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Riley didn't he's even think not, about that fun. one. <laughs> it's not Jelly's so. fault. Jelly I, tried to tell us. I yelled at them all the time about this pure blood crap. This is that, that is too. that is true. I did quote you earlier. You did see that memory. Uh, I when, did when Calvin was doing the spell of Jelly, oh. seeing them with the book and telling them to knock off that pure blood crap. Oh, that's what that memory was about. Well, part in part. Just in general, this pure blood crap is 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 destructive. Yes. Yes. Well, we know this now. It is uh, part (laughs) of the reason why I don't (laughs) like to go to my parents' house. Okay. So what what's going to happen now that you're burning this book? I mean, if they were going to kill Tristan before, (laughs) what are they going to do to you now? Um, I don't know. And I, I don't really care. I, um, it, it wasn't it wasn't worth it. So when when did this stop? Like were were you guys still doing this like the beginning of college or no the end of the high school year? Did okay. Was Riley like the last person you bit? Do we know? I don't know when it like. That's up to so, you. To so, so Lexa, Lexa, around that time, is yeah, when we stopped. We yeah, were finishing about the time I came back to life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. or life. Mm-hmm. So yes, Riley probably is the last one. I, yeah. Okay. So so yeah. Le, le, it, it, wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It it's gonna take me some time to pro- process this. Um, That's fair. <laughs> yes. I think um, Riley is just like, she's overwhelmed. She's going to go out the dorm and just like stand in the hallway up against the wall <laughs> in the hallway. Well, your your room is just down the hall. We established yeah. also, right? She, so. she might stop there on her way to her room down the hall. <laughs> yeah. This is like one of the first times Calvin doesn't have anything to say. Like, When when I, Riley I, I, goes into the hallway, Eliza says, "We've got some info to tell you, just so you know." I'm gonna go s- into the hallway, sk- lean against the wall, and sit down on the floor next to where Riley's standing, and that's it. Does not okay. say anything, but just sit there. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I might I might have more questions later, but we have to talk about what the captain told us. Did, did you want to still talk to him or because 
I don't know if you're going to get another chance because some serious shit is going down. And Eliza okay. doesn't curse, just so you know. So that, okay. that is a little like, out of character for what, her to say that. What's going, what, what kind of stuff is going down? Well, apparently the heads of the societies are not as wonderful as I thought they were. Oh, that tracks. <laughs> yeah have you met our parents i i i oh my god i just that tracks what does the captain want he's gonna take him down i mean the roberts he he and roberts yeah and uh you know roberts might die no i i i'm not really sure if I really care that much. So what? Um, okay. So what, I mean, that guy is just such an ass. What? Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Well, you know, us pure bloods are kind of dicks. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. So um, the captain didn't really ask anything of us. Okay. We could join the fight we could are, watch the fight who we are we fighting not get involved is, uh, the, is it teachers okay the heads of the society um also yeah but uh, eliza pulls out a sword uh apparently oh roberts has given us this and uh I'm, oh I'm yes! Exactly. I, sure. I, I oh, who gave Calvin a sword? I have this. No, no. Uh, is just Calvin has a dagger. No. <laughs> is the door open still, like to the hallway? Jelly, why did you let Calvin get a dagger? Oh, that's right. You, yeah, Calvin got a little dagger. You can like um, hear Alexa yeah, say that. You don't, in the you don't have a, everyone else has short swords. It is short. I, I, I think Roberts gave the gave him the weapon because of all the conflict between them, and you know. Right. So are we his hearing this in the hall? You probably hear us talking. Yeah, the did doors you, open. Did you close the door, or did you leave it open as you left? Oh, I left it open. Jelly. No, well, Jelly was. Well, Jelly's the, the last one. Yeah. Uh, I probably would have left it open. Then. Okay. Yeah. So you can let them choose. Yeah. I thought maybe Eliza was just like waving swords Wait. around in this room. I thought Eliza might be following. <laughs> I wasn't sure she was going to stay. So I don't know what you want to do. Um, what do you want to do? I mean, what are we supposed to do? I don't really. I, I don't think it's a good idea to get involved. Okay. Are you ready to have this discussion with them? I think they're going to be slaughtered. Honestly, oh, okay. Um, but if any of you guys plan to fight, I will. Um... Wait, but why would we fight? Hang on, just Bradley. Are you? You all can do whatever. I will probably help because I that. Let's go in yeah. and close the door. Let's go yeah. in and close the door. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we probably we don't three, want other we, people we hearing like, this. We have three choices, basically. Do nothing. <sighs> fight with Roberts and the captain. Or fight with the professors. Oh, just we're not. Okay. Just objectively <laughs> speaking, those are the choices we have. Oh, we're we're not. I mean, I'm not fighting with the professors. <laughs> oh, this is new. Fuck that! <laughs> Fuck that shit! Oh, okay. Well, something really um, big Eliza, happened. Eliza, Eliza, the professors, Eliza. the professors are up to some. Uh, I've been at least one of I. I Professor Belafonte is working with Liza's dad, or Lexus' dad, and. I don't trust and either of them as far as I can 
throw them, which is not very far. Um, uh, Lex is going to look at Riley and ask Riley what Riley wants to do. I'll, I'll do whatever you want to do. <clears throat> so I don't, I don't know if I actually said it in the conversation with the with the captain last time but he also would have told you like you don't like i think he said you don't have to do anything but also like if you want to blame this on me and not be involved that is a perfectly fine thing to do like no, we don't right oh sorry you're not a character like, <laughs> yeah yeah like it might it might be like it might be fine for you to have like plausible deniability, right? Like just not be involved at all. One, one option the captain was suggesting is that we'd be here to clean up afterwards. And I think it's good. I, I agree if not getting involved. What does the cleaning mean? There it's like a vacuum. ashes are all over the floor and your cauldron is bubbling away and there's some <laughs> weird things falling out of your book bag backpack oh did i leave that in there um uh, i guess my only question is uh you said roberts could die do we yeah, care he, he, do we he, care about he that said, he said that he could lose his life i, I I don't know if I care about it. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know what to think about the guy, honestly. But I, don't, I mean, don't we think that everyone deserves second chances? I don't think <laughs> we want, I don't think we want him to die. And aside from hitting the professor, everything he did was in service of his cause. Huh. He was an asshole. You know, you know. Yeah, he an was asshole. an asshole. He is an but, asshole. But my he, feet, my feelings about Lexa and Calvin aside right now, he just he stood there while Lexa was unconscious and did nothing. This is fair. Oh man. Is that I don't think that's accurate. He went, he said he was gonna take her. Calvin went to go take her and he just he i can't fly fly, fly? so i did it. what do you mean what do you mean fly on the on the broom he said that he couldn't Wait. fly very well on the on his broom what do you mean fly on a broom <laughs> i'm very confused wait have you have you forgotten that you can fly on a broom <clears throat> Let's forgotten see. forgotten i can do what you can that you can fly on a on a broom you have an ability to fly on a broom. you taught me to fly on a broom yeah uh, <laughs> i walk out the room oh no <laughs> Oh. Uh, what oh, you... oh my goodness! You this lost is, your memory. Mind you, I like that, Calvin. This is the thing that you decided to walk out of the room for. Finally, you like what? listen. I, I can don't. Do all the what rest do you mean? This. this is crazy. <laughs> Somebody not the, being the able spell. to fly on a broom. What do you mean? What do you mean? I helped you fly on a broom. That that's oh, no. what we've been. I mean, I know we've. Been, I mean, for... we've been hanging out every week. Where on, do you think we've been hanging Wednesdays? out every week? Just at the beach, the cliffs. You hear ring, ring, and you see Calvin pulling <laughs> up with a fucking bike. <laughs> no, he <laughs> love flying. What the fuck? Oh, that's <laughs> why he <laughs> left. the dorm room with the giant <laughs> Um, Why did you bring your bike in, inside? It is a broom? No. What? Okay. Okay, friends. Obviously, there's some memory loss. We don't have to fix it right now. Right. Is there yeah. more of that potion. We'll have to work, <laughs> work on that. It, that's going to take some time, Calvin. I don't know what you guys are talking. I think I'm fine. You're... She lost her memory. You're not <laughs> fine. <laughs> I bring my, my bike inside. And do whatever I do to make it a broom again. Okay. It like barely fits in the door, by the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So... It's really awkward. Like, 
Calvin. Wow. You have it to just... like turn it so it's diagonally yeah. through the door frame. Yeah. Wow. It just turned into a broom. Bro. Alexa, Alexa, can you do magic? Um. Y- yes. I don't. I don't see why I can't. You can cast spells still. I mean, I haven't yet, but I assume so. Okay. I mean, do you want me to cast a spell? Yes. I think maybe it would be good actually <laughs> to see if she could. Nothing dangerous. Uh, okay. Make the light turn uh, or something. Uh, hold on. She's gonna like uh look for her wand. Did anybody I believe you grabbed her broom and her the Grimori, the book. I I I grabbed her and then Calvin, so anything she had on her when she fell. When she fell. Yeah. Well, so so I guess the question All is right, like uh, would you have stored I would it on assume you, like, yeah I I assume I mean like so like I but anything in like your wear, backpack like, you wouldn't have super maybe. bougie clothes so I assume I have had something on that had like an inside sure. pocket yeah. Yeah. So, so it would have been have in there in okay yeah so like I'm gonna dig around for that and um <clears throat> can I do this thing Dustin can you do what thing what I, do you want to do I just asked you oh um sure um let's see are you are you gonna ask her or are you just gonna do it uh, i'm just gonna do it <laughs> okay great um <laughs> haven't we learned about this yet <laughs> we, we learn from our mistakes okay <laughs> excuse me this is happening Lexa out of, of character all Lisa right. Has a lot of growth to to go through. Uh, <laughs> so does Have Calvin. you cast a well? What what classes uh, are you taking? Are you taking defense in here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and I and I have um. In that class, I have. Uh, one uh, little thing marked off, but yes, I am in that class. Okay, so this is actually this actually isn't going to be very difficult because you're kind of practicing it. You need great. Uh, you need a three on this. A three oh, or better. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, all right. Um, okay, let me. Uh, what do you want me? Brains. Oh yeah. Um, brawn grit. That's a that's a charm. That's a good point. Um. Yeah, we're gonna say we're gonna say charm. Okay, beautiful. Okay, and then I will also roll the magic die, right? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, it was an eight. Um, Plus your I, magic die. Yeah, so don't that's forget the D four. Is that a D four? Yeah. Okay. So that that's definitely a success. Okay. So three, so eleven. Yeah, you've got yeah. way over right. a three. So um. So what does it look like? Uh, so Lex is going to walk towards um Riley and reach out for Riley's uh right arm, and is going to silently cast a spell, um, and uh. The scar disappears. Replaced with a flower. Ah. <laughs> what kind of flower? Uh, what's Riley's favorite flower? Oh, let's see if you've been paying attention this season at all. There's one that I have in mind. <laughs> flower. Now I gotta look at my notes. Damn. <laughs> um. Isn't there a flower you used in one of your spells? Yeah, yeah there that's was. why I'm seeing if that's you're paying a, attention. I'm paying attention. I know it starts with a D and I always get them. It, well, it doesn't start with a D. It doesn't start with a D? Damn, where was it then? What was the charm made out of? 
Oh, the, what was the charm that you made that Riley made for Alexa? What was how, that made? How many of? weeks ago was that? I oh guess. my god, forever! <laughs> it's forever ago. I didn't write any of it down. I wrote it down, but I have to. I would have to find it. I think it. it's like three sessions ago. Uh, charm. Where's my badass dice roll? <laughs> so the the but it's flower. A, I, I can find it. Maybe. The flowers that she's been using in like the the spiritualism practice are marigolds right okay. mm -hmm. that's right it ends in a d it does, <laughs> it does. all right it's so it's, 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 there's no d there's no d we'll we'll replace it with a with a marigold and riley's gonna say just because you made it disappear doesn't uh, mean i forgotten <laughs> well i know that <laughs> i'm just <laughs> proving that i can do magic she can do magic okay well that's good that's good riley's not gonna admit that she thinks it's cute <laughs> <laughs> something that we haven't talked about is what if the captain and roberts fail uh, that could become a problem then we have to do the cleaning if we're not involved we deal with whatever happens as the outcome i mean the heads of these societies are trying to take power from others well and if we don't stop it or someone stops it it's it definitely it's not going to be good feels like something our parents would do What do you think would be something that your parents would do? Not get involved or be involved? Oh, I can guarantee you my father is fighting with the professors. I'm pretty sure oh. if my parents were here, they would be doing the same. They probably are here. Oh. I don't want to think about it. Um, you, you all do remember also that Professor Bal Belafonte apologized that like this shouldn't have happened to Lexa. Right. And like mm -hmm. he was set, he said that he was sent by Lex's father to make sure everybody was okay. So it was like, there was this like kind of moment where it's like, oh, like you knew this was going to, you knew something yeah. was going to kind of, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? That's so. right. <clears throat> um, I get my, my only question is whether or not Roberts deserves to die. I don't think he does. I, I don't, mm. I don't like him, but I don't think he deserves to die either we haven't really seen the extent of his ability does he need maybe our he help? can handle this on his own <laughs> but i get i mean i i get i just i don't i mean maybe he needs help i don't know roberts is about as strong in it as any of us the captain is much stronger <clears throat> I mean, Roberts is older than us and seems more experienced. He's old man. <laughs> okay, that's not old, he's Calvin. My, he's my he's age. He's not that old, but right. he, he well, is older what do we, than us. He's what definitely do we in his 20s, mid 20s or something. What uh, I mean, do I we, are we, are we going to vote okay. or are we. Oh, well. You know, I should find out what Professor Feist meant when he said they're oh. counting on me. Oh. That's a he good place what? to start. When is this happening? Tomorrow How much night. time? Okay, so not a lot of time. During the we don't period. have a lot of time. Great. Okay, so it's like midday, afternoon-ish now on Saturday, and it's Sunday night when... All right, it, okay. <clears throat> is, the, is the captain planning on, like, killing the professors? didn't say i don't think i don't I, i'm not i'm not sure exactly what the plan is um except that he you know he talked about the crumbling tower no they expect to be in the room without magic oh where i where he where he escaped to and i followed him he said the tower is going to crumble he meant it figuratively yeah. 
this captain says that they took his magic, but he had magic. He regained it over time. He, he regained it. When, when we were at the wellspring, Calvin, there was like this statue that absorbed magic and he used it, I'm guessing. He um, has it. Yeah, <laughs> he, he has it, yes. Wait, is he? And he also got a crystal that it, inside of it are his memories. It, it came out of that leech, that leech that, that attacked you, Lexa. It's one memory. Uh, uh, leech. The crystal was one memory. The oh. thing that attacked you and, and put you into the coma was called a leech. I see. Uh, I it, so we don't know if he's going to kill anyone. He did not state that explicitly, which is probably for our own safety. Right. Uh, he said he wanted, um, I believe, the revenge. Right. I'm just trying to figure out if that means he's going to hurt, like hurt my father. That's all. Well, uh, Roberts did just give Calvin a dagger yeah and gave us weapons that's concerning. In case we were there. Eliza, uh, sword. <laughs> as lexa like asked that she's like spinning the i actually her, have her a sword for you too when she hands one to riley family crest ring nervously you're just kind of doing that thing like on your finger where it's yeah like, it's spinning it around. yeah like are we like do, how do we not know if they're gonna like actually physically harm people I mean, as far as you know, your dad was leaving town also. Like he he said right. that he didn't have much time to hang around. That's why he met with you in such a hurry. Right. So you, whether he's lying to you or not, you don't know. Or whether right. he meant they're preparing a ritual for 24 hours. Right. Right. And he didn't have time. Maybe we should let Jelly go talk to this professor. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Well, I... I'm definitely not fighting with the teachers. I'm not fighting with them. Okay. Fuck like, that. I love that Eliza's got you, at least one hard line here. Would <laughs> you fight against them? That's the you question. Just say that oh that. yeah, yeah. I mean, if, if any of you, if any of you, and she she looks at Riley, and then Alexa, and then Calvin and Jelly, and she says, if any of you decide to fight, I am standing with you, despite the betrayal. Despite the emotion, I am going to be there with you. If any of you decide, I will follow. Nice to meet you, Eliza Goldenflower. Uh, um, I, I've been I've been here the whole time. Do we have to talk about the language? Did, did you lose your memory too? <laughs> so it's she's like a new person. Mm -hmm. um, I feel different. I feel you mentioned the slapping and the choking. <laughs> yes. Uh, Maybe we can do that for fun later. Oh, what? <laughs> uh, anyway, moving on. Right, um, <laughs> I'm going to uh, email Professor Feist. I'm going to start that way. Okay. Uh, Lex Do you guys want to wait till you get information before you guys decide? Um, Lex is going to ask Riley what I mean. Like, what do you what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Go back to like last week. That's what I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a good idea. Well, I've come across a few theories, but haven't put much attention into that. I yet. mean, I'd still have to like be honest. So. Yeah, you'd have to explain yourself again. Again. Yeah, never. Darmamu? Never I've I meant <laughs> I meant I meant I meant about the situation we find ourselves in. I don't I don't want Roberts to die. So you want to fight? Is Riley yeah. fighting? <clears throat> Email failing. I'm going to send a. I'm going to send a message, whisper message to Professor Feist, saying I would like to speak with you. A whisper message. <laughs> I love it. Well, use some magic here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Through the mm -hmm. through the Facebook. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> maybe we have, our, we have the Facebook. But is our, our professors on there? Yeah, or why not? Back at Salem. That was back in Salem. That was like your school in Salem, right? We didn't establish. Yeah. That no, we here. didn't bring it here. No. No, we have actual phones here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's just technology. I mean, yeah. Lexa doesn't have her phone. I don't. Lexa I don't assume no I have his phone it. number, so I can't <laughs> text Calvin. him. He's the head uh, of one of this. I could also go to the society that he's the head of if he if I can't well, find him. As Jelly's doing that, uh, Lexa's gonna start cleaning up the book. Yeah. So in the in the interest of time here, uh, Jelly, you you get a message that basically says, "I you know if you want to come chat, just stop by his office at Scroll and Key." Okay. I go. Okay. I'll be I back. I think I help Lexa. Wait, you're going by yourself. Please. I just have questions to ask him. Do you, do you even say anything or you just like go? No, uh, I, I say, up. Oh, I'm going to go meet him. Wait, is somebody going to go with Jelly? I, I he's will, walking out. He's walking. He's down, going I, down the hall. I will do the going. Uh, I think I'm going to run after Jelly. Sure. As, as you head out the dorms. Oh, great. So Lex is left with Eliza and Riley. <laughs> That's not awkward at all. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, well, we we won't. We've played this out quite a bit, mm -hmm. so like, yeah, we'll let everybody <laughs> headcanon what's happening. Well, I mean, Lex is cleaning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, whatever happens between Jelly and the professor, I think Calvin is going to wait, kind of outside the door. So as you're as you head out the dorms and you're on your way to Scroll and Key, which isn't actually terribly uh far away um you're joined up by a small raccoon friend who seems to start trotting by your side calvin as you're oh. walking over how did you become that again i'll, I'll reach out and pet her give her scritches uh i pick her up and like put her under my arm what how did this happen and i just she start goes out from your arm and scurries around up on your shoulder Okay. And just kind of like nuzzles in next to your, your ear. Are you going to tell me what happened? <laughs> what are you talking about? How? <laughs> I'm trying to think of the noises that raccoons actually no make. Idea. They're kind of weird. They are kind of weird. It's like, funny because you hate raccoons. Now you have oh, to make God. raccoon noises. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to act like a raccoon. <laughs> Chittering sounds, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't you not come? I I know my phone. I I I have, don't know where my phone is. <laughs> All right, I want to get to the yeah. scene with Professor Feist also. So, you you and the lashes can have a little bit of a conversation in in raccoon. Um, along the way so uh yes jelly you uh you walk into calvin what are you doing while jelly goes into actually you can't go into this society yeah that's why you're I said, not, you're not a gonna, member of this society so you don't have access you can't even go inside actually i'm gonna stand outside the door and wait for him to come back out okay hey I, is this this is mine and he's the head of mine Yes. Okay, I didn't realize that. Yes. Feist is Zell is the head of yeah, I... manuscript, who was the one that Roberts punched. So um I feel like we've gotten Feist and, and Zell a little confused. Um yeah, so you go into his office and he's kind of just sitting. He's he's kind of putting, or actually he's not sitting, he's like kind of organizing some things on the shelf, different little um, trinkets, magical items, non-magical items, souvenirs. Y yes, uh, Jelly, you wanted to meet. Professor, well, Professor, are you in a previous conversation, you said that you were counting on me. Everyone was counting. We are counting on you. And I guess I'd just like to talk about what you meant by that. 
Oh, sit. Anything to, I'm sorry, my manners, anything to drink. Oh, no problem, sir. Okay. Yeah, he gestures for you to sit and he moves behind his desk and, and sits down. Um, whether you choose to sit or not is up to you. I'll sit um, down. I'm being conciliatory. I'm here to have a casual conversation, but you know, yeah. a serious one. Well, I'm, as you've seen, there, there aren't many uh, students coming to scroll and key these days. Uh, table's been a little empty for dinners. We, the societies have slowly been rationing away some of our magic from our rituals and saying they need them for the other societies. We haven't contributed as much. We haven't earned it. We were all very impressed when we heard that you traveled to the wastelands and I was very pleased that you chose us. That's why I recruited you here to Yale. I was hopeful that you'd be able to help bring some notoriety back to our society, perhaps, should you choose it. Well, I did choose it. Oh, choose the society. I mean, yeah, to bring notoriety. I, that's... Well, if this society is helping me deep, immensely with my studies and in my attempts to find my father, so I give credit where credit is due, and any, anything I could do to help, I, I, yeah. I just had a sense, is the, the con, that conversation was in the context of the captain's attack. Right? I, I wondered if it, you were asking me something that wasn't yet made clear. I, I, I have to, Apologize. I've been thinking about that conversation. I'm so sorry if it felt like I was threatening you at all. I didn't mean for it to seem that way. There was just a lot of talk going on among the other societies and the different professors. The fact that you were there when the magic went wrong and Zell knew about it, it put you in danger. I, since you shared what happened with me, I managed to convince the council that you had nothing to do with it. And it was most likely this captain that you spoke of. Well, that was clear. Yeah, so, so it took some convincing, but... Are you in conflict with Zell and... Belafonte and uh, Mr. Truegood. He just sits for a moment, kind of looks up, like he's thinking about what to share with you or not. Mm -hmm. After a moment of silence from your question, he says, I've seen what they can do, what they've done to some of these poor students who question them. Just didn't want to see that fate for you, what you've been through already. I hope, I hope you know it was, it was a warning, not a threat. That's all from me. You were concerned for my safety, what others might do to me. Were I to cross them or not? If do, they do felt crossed, yes. I was worried about that. How are your studies coming? I can see that you weren't threatening me. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that myself too, because studies are going well. Been able to make some portals here and there. 
that's great. Love for you to learn to control it more. Traveling is one of the mm -hmm. things I love the most about scroll and key. Can I, I, can I make a brains roll just on this conversation like I have on previous conversations? To do what? To read the, read his sincerity. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Um, so this will just be, yeah, just a straight brains roll for this. What it was last time? Yeah. Do you know, do you remember what I put for a difficulty last time by any chance? I can't uh, remember. I don't remember because it's also a slightly different situation. So I, don't, I have no idea. Yeah. Because I was dealing with Lexa's father, who is a, who's Lexa's father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he was maybe high. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a brains roll. Let me see. An eight. Okay. Um, I was first thinking a seven, then I was thinking a five. So that beats both of them. Uh, yeah. As far as your insight, which is weird because you're kind of a, a bit of a loner, right? But you've been spending a little more time with your friends, but you've always had a good read on people, right? Um, you've, you've kind of learned that you like learning where to put your, your trust, I guess. And uh, he seems genuine to you. When I, when I asked him about the conflict and he paused, it's like, oh, there's conflict there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, like he doesn't want to bring you into this. Um, he doesn't want you to get hurt. He, he wants you to be able to study and to like, he, he thinks you have really powerful magic and he wants to see it grow. <laughs> when we visited Lexa's father on the island, uh, and the leech attacked us, I was able to create a portal to redirect the leech. That's, that's great. But listen, I... Well, you asked about my studies. Yeah, yeah. Just don't, don't tell me anything else about that. Please. Okay. You know, I mean... Do you want to make a different role and see why he's nervous all of a sudden? <laughs> well, and, and he'll tell you, like, it's just this like plausible deniability, right? Like if I don't know, they they won't know that I don't know. Does that make sense? If you don't know, you can't know. Yeah. Yeah. But if I know, they'll know that I know. Mm. I just assumed it was talked about amongst people since a student was injured. It's That's the all. first time hearing about it, but perhaps at oh. the council meeting tomorrow night. Right. Okay. Understood. Thank you for your time. I look forward to uh, further learning from you and helping me find my father would be the best thing ever happened, so. That would be great, yeah. Um, <laughs> Your father was a great student also. Did I know I was a legacy here, Dustin? <laughs> Would you? I'll leave that up to you. I think we talked about it already. I don't know that we established, I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember. I don't know if we established, if we established that, that my dad was a student here. I, I thought we did. Okay. Then I do know. Okay. Just curious if I knew or not. I would like to get back some of those years that I've lost or get any years are you saying that to him yeah you've gained a lot jelly i don't think you've lost anything with my father oh sorry yes kelvin what are you doing outside i told you next time if something like this happens, you come to me and me and Eliza will help you with it. I'm just talking to lashes. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> lashes like kind of goes behind a bush and then lashes comes back as a human. You're gonna put some clothes on. 
She she has clothes on. Okay. This is magical transformation, not like a pair of sweatpants with Yale on the butt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what I was saying, Calvin, is you really must study harder. You can do this too. Transformation. I sometimes I like being a raccoon. I spent so much time as a raccoon. I I, I find it easier to get around sometimes. Sorry. I, your your raccoon isn't very good. <laughs> Everything all right? You're quiet, Calvin. That's it's happened a lot today. That has happened to me. <laughs> Eliza found out about the book. Uh, Riley found out about the book. Um, I think I walked in on something with Lexa and Riley. Did you knock first? <laughs> no. Well, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Did you wait for them to reply? No. I was told they might be doing something after. <laughs> I I love you, Calvin, but you're an idiot sometimes. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Where have you been? Where have you been? Well, my phone... I don't know where my phone went. There was... Let me see. Alexa's father came. It is... uh, uh, leechy thing came and tried to eat Lexa's memory, <laughs> and then, uh, um, well, we did the fighting of it, and we bring it back and bring Lexa back and make a potion to make her remember things, but it seems like it potion did not work very good because. She forget that she can do some magic. Uh, flying. The you broom. didn't screw up the potion again, did you? No. It, well, she's not turned into something yet, so no. That's good. <laughs> Better than Eliza, right? Yes. <laughs> Let me know when I walk in on this conversation. <laughs> Whenever you want. Okay. <laughs> well, she doesn't have a tail? Well, yeah. no. No, not any. Well, Eliza does not have one anymore. Well, yeah, no, that's good. You fixed that. Well, she still speaks a little cat, but <clears throat> I, I think that is by choice. I'll walk out the door. Let's see. Lashes. Give her a big hug, a smooch, and say, I love you, friend. I'm so glad we're not married. <laughs> <laughs> So good to see you. Oh my God. Cause this is the first time I've seen her in human form. Yeah. Uh, you saw her at the party, but you may not have known it was her. I didn't, I didn't know it was her. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. didn't know then. This is the first time I found out seen her. I heard she was back. Yeah. And backstory for those tuning in, Lashes and I are supposed to be an arranged marriage that we both refused because, <laughs> well, because of Lashes and Calvin. Which makes things slightly awkward because Eliza and Calvin. <laughs> um, do you do you need help? Like, what's going on? What did he say? He's a good man. He's not. He's not any of our concern in all this. Who is the bad man? Let's go. I start walking with jelly and lashes. I'm just gonna, as as much as lashes is comfortable, you know, arm around her shoulder, just saying, you know, happy to to, to reconnect. Yeah, and, and and again, as you're walking back, lashes is like just telling you, focus on your studies, Calvin. You need to learn to transform to control it. I heard that there was was that you? I heard there was a raccoon, the naked. <laughs> there's a, rac- a large raccoon well, around uh, campus he woke I... up naked and human in the park 
He gave Calvin. me the magic brownies. Calvin. That's right, looking car windows. <laughs> <laughs> there was a picture. Did you see the picture on Instagram sure. of the... What is the Instagram? Oh, geez. <laughs> Did you not charge your phone again? I don't know where it is. He doesn't know where his phone is anymore. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Calvin. You're the one that loves him. I mean, I love him too. I so. don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's I mean, I somehow too. it's charming. She looks at like Jalantha and she's like, somehow it's charming. And she kind of blushes a little bit. <laughs> I got new sweatpants. <laughs> Cool. You making new friends? Um, um, kind of. One, <laughs> kind of. The one who you just called an asshole a half hour ago. Yep. He he is uh, magical. But maybe not. I do not know. <clears throat> he is very confusing and very rude and kind of an asshole. We make but it back. Kind to the of dorms. a nice guy, I think. As you hear this as Calvin starts to walk into the dorm, he's like kind of magical, kind of not, kind of an asshole, kind of nice. I don't know. <laughs> and you you all see lashes. Calvin once again does not knock. <laughs> Calvin never knocks. He usually knocks. Let's put it like that. But no, uh, actually, Lashes, as you go to walk in, like Lashes stops you uh, and knocks on the door for you. And then I bet holds him back again yep. to wait for a response. <laughs> yep. 100%. <laughs> Why do we not go inside? Would uh, you say? Hello? Y yes, Calvin. I think I'm supposed to act, ask the permission. Oh, um, yeah, you can come in. <laughs> I just look at Lash. He's like, can I go in? Calvin. It just gave you permission. I go inside. All right. I just, I think I realized that uh, Jelly and Lashes have like this really intimate, affectionate, non romantic relationship. Of people who like defied order together and you know mm -hmm. have known each other a long time. Yeah. All right. Um, do we want to do anything else here? Uh, I, I share that Professor Feist is in somewhat of conflict with um, uh, Bella. Professor Belavante, your father, Professor Zell. And he was not threatening me. He was uh, scared for me. He was warning me. Okay. Oh, good. That... Someone I might be able to trust. Yeah. So he's he um, <laughs> he didn't even know about the attack. So that's really being kept to a specific inner circle. Do you tell us that he... <laughs> specifically asked you not to tell him more because if he knows then other uh, yeah people I say, he was actually okay. concerned that if he had more information that they would know that he knew things that he was not supposed to know like so. what like they could be he, doing some kind of mind meld or something if they it's only in the take Star Trek. you i watched the one show he doesn't want to know details okay. that they can find out that he knows. Okay. There's all sorts of magic out there, Calvin, that's even beyond us. Beyond what we know. Right now, all they he are knows professors. Is he could say he heard from a student there was an attack on a student, and that's about as much as he knows. Okay. He is not going to do the fighting. That still doesn't tell us what we should no, do <laughs> it, it it tells us that he he's not part of the conspiracy he's not he was not threatening me what it tells us so not all the professors are not bad. all the professors uh yeah. does this change what we're gonna do 
I don't know. It's information. Do we do the fighting? We fight the professors and we lose. It's bad time. We fight the professors and as a stalemate, it's a bad time. Is there anything we can do to help Roberts without? I think we need to talk to Roberts. I, I did want to cast a spell here. I wanted to see if I could scry on Roberts. Okay. Oh. Because I want to see what he's up to and it might come in useful later. <laughs> okay. Let me try something. So you want to do scrying. Let me see where scrying would. I think I looked, I was reading the book earlier and I believe it came under seeing somewhere else under brains. Yeah, I'm thinking. See into a different place in space sure. or time. Sure. Or to um, reveal something hidden. I can also say that yeah. for brains. I'm, remo I'm yeah. remote viewing basically. And that's, that was, sounds like it's under I'm, brains. I'm going to help by giving the dagger since the dagger was given to us, given to okay. me for, by, from Roberts. Maybe it'll help direct us where to go. Right, so let me, before I look at that result, do you tell me? I'm going to set yeah. the difficulty on this. Um, How long are you trying to hold just, this? Just real quick, not even not even a minute. Not even a minute. Okay. So I make sure I can do it. See if I can do it. Uh, and like, how how much are you trying to see? Like, just where Roberts is, or like the room that he's in? Like, I, to, at this point, I just want to see. Can I see Roberts? Okay, so that makes it a little easier then. Um, so I'm going to say you need a seven brains roll on this. All right. With my magic die, I got a nine. Okay. So that's a, that's a success. So you have a brief moment. Um, uh, we're going to say this is like Saturday night now, Roberts, what, what are you doing? Um, as far as preparing, uh, at this point, uh, I know we haven't had much from you, uh, in this so far so it's kind oh. of the the night before um the captain's working on the protection sigils uh for it seems like one for him and one for you and uh yeah, yeah he's like close to finishing those up presumably i would be helping him work on those okay um I know that uh, I, don't, I shouldn't say I know. I'm, you know, I, I'm a little unclear on like uh, I think, or I should say Roberts is a little unclear on like the magic, uh, all the magic behind it, but he probably you know, I think in general like uses magic very like spur of the moment, not in not like preparing ahead of time. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think there's this moment where you and the captain, like the captain's been working on and studying this um, and he realizes he doesn't have enough time to make one for you and him. So he brings you in to help make one also. Um, and so the two of you are working on this together and he's guiding you uh, he sees you make a mistake and he corrects you, um, gives you, gives you positive feedback when it's like, oh, that that's looking good. Right. Uh, and Angela, you see just a moment of, of Roberts sitting next to the captain working on this. Uh, and there's this kind of fatherly energy from the captain towards Roberts uh, as they're kind of sitting shoulder to shoulder uh, working this out. And you catch this for 
like 10 seconds and then it fades. That got me in the feels. <laughs> I guess jelly in the feels. Um, I'm going to text Roberts and say, why don't we get that drink before? And by the way, your security is not as good as you think it is. Good, good work on the good work just now on the on the complicated math you're doing. So I actually forgot about the protection on the ship and everything, but I will <laughs> say this. He did give you a sword from that ship, right. which is kind of what's giving you this uh, insight there. Right. Well, and, and interesting that you mentioned that, right? Because I, I think that just to retcon slightly, um, I think Roberts very intentionally probably picked weapons that were all from like this same place or the um, that he found in the same stash as where he got his own rapier. Okay. Um, so that there's like a connection between. So that there's a connection because I think Roberts is was just anticipating like if they fight alongside him. Um, I think he's planning some kind of magic on his weapon that would be mirrored in theirs. Okay. Yeah. Again, Roberts, not that Roberts like would like design something ahead of time, but just yeah. But yeah, okay. so I, I like that that it's it's a way to kind of connect you all, but it sounds like you haven't really explained that to them. You were just like, here, here's these weapons, like protect yourself yeah no that's not not that's very kind of what roberts does not very <laughs> emotional or gushy in any way right just very much like he plays it super close to the chest <laughs> okay. yeah yeah i know we're getting close to the end but it, if i could like insert just something a little bit sure um so while jelly and calvin have kind of gone off it's like Eliza and Riley and Lexa in the room. Um, and Eliza's going to leave. I don't know what Riley's going to do, but Eliza's going to leave and she's going to go into the room. And uh, yeah, she's going to like kind of have a tantrum and just like punch a pillow like for a long time, just like screaming into a pillow, punching into a pillow, sobbing, um, you know, just like having it like kind of like an emotional breakdown a little bit um so Lexa, then, yeah. Uh, yeah eliza eliza leaves your room after uh -huh. jelly and calvin do and you just hear a door slam down the hallway yeah uh you and you and if riley is there, riley then, staying in the room yeah well now she is <laughs> 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 really because the well or do you think, go check on I think, eliza i don't know if i i think i'm gonna let a lot i think i would riley would text eliza and say let me know if you need to talk and say uh to alexa i just i'm gonna go get some air uh -huh. and kind of go outside <laughs> sure uh well if Lex is alone, then uh, Lex is also going to have an emotional breakdown <laughs> and promptly proceed to sob. I was going to say, what does Lex's emotional breakdown look like? <laughs> Just sobbing? Yeah, I think okay. so. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I think uh, that's uh, she's just kind of like sitting. Maybe she might She's probably like sitting next to Calvin's cauldron. And so so we'll say we'll go back real quick. Um, you hear the knock on the door as like your eyes are still puffy from sobbing. Uh, and that's where you're like, yeah, yeah, Calvin, you could come in. And yeah, when you come in, so you see lashes, Calvin and Jelly. Okay. Come in. I wasn't uh, quite done. Can I like just sure. What else? What else are you doing? So then I'm I'm going to 
like after crying for a while I like call to churro um <laughs> my my animal companion um and I'm gonna have like this conversation with churro um and uh and we're gonna come to the point of where we're both in agreement that that churro needs to change yeah what um so uh yeah i'd like to do like an animal transformation thing is that okay you you could try i mean yeah. is this i mean you've been in wolf's head so you've been studying but That's like true. you're changing churro not yourself so this correct. is a little bit different than that correct um, yes but it but it is something with consent to churro and sure chur like like there's some like we have a telepathic connection and there's something changing with me and so they can feel there's something changing with them okay. and so eliza is going to attempt to change her chipmunk into a snake oh <laughs> so what would you what do i need to roll for that uh i'm deciding what that be charm magic i was gonna say i think it's charm magic that's what i was thinking too realize i was muted so i'm gonna say this all right, don't tell me what it is yet. I can hear the rolling. I'm I'm figuring out on the magic table what the difficulty is gonna be. Um, don't forget your yeah, your D4. So this is a small area of effect, at least. Um it's something I'm sure she's done in Wolf's head. Sure. Um Okay, so this is a permanent effect, right? You're trying to make this permanent change? Correct. Okay, so that really ups the difficulty a bit. We, we haven't done any permanent effects. A lot of them have been pretty short-term effects. Um, so six. If I can't do it for permanent, I mean, I don't know. So I'm gonna say I guess I, I need to make sure that my intention is, is the same because I, I mean, I'd be okay with just it looking like a snake just for now, I guess. Okay. So let's say I haven't seen, I know you rolled dice. I haven't looked at it yet. Um, so you're going to need a charm roll of 12 for a permanent effect. If you're lower than that, uh, I will say, um, depending on this table here, that it just won't last as long. It may last a week or a couple of days or only a few hours or something. So, um, okay. so that if you fail, um, it's like uh, Cheryl's gonna revert back. Right. Well, I got an 11. An 11, okay. So can I use a token to make it a 12? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can use an okay. adversity token for sure. That's what they're Great. for. Great, thank you. Thank you. All right. And yeah. that's that's all I wanted to do. Churro so, is now a snake. Churro is now a snake. And then, yeah, so once she's done that configuration, she's just going to have churro around her neck. Um, and she's going to, you know, follow them in. And I'll end my part there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so Calvin was entering the room, right? Mm -hmm. Followed by lashes. <laughs> mm -hmm. And okay. jelly. And yeah, jelly. Yeah, right. Uh, oh, you found lashes. She found us. Yes. That seems to be the case. Uh, how did it? <clears throat> She's like, kind of. <laughs> like clearing your throat like how, you how did it go okay i'm i'm fine are you okay i don't know well um, i i mean okay. he's okay as he ever is <laughs> yeah i mean it was has not been a fun night 
No. <laughs> Did you get more information? I share that what I felt about Vice not being part of the. Okay. Right. And it's just the five. Of, so it's just Calvin, Lexa, Jelly, and Lashes in the room presently. Yeah. Correct. correct. At this presently. Okay. Um, Eli, I think Eliza is like coming in after. Okay. So are we. Jelly, you said we should go find Robert? Did you I find mess- him? I messaged him. He's on the boat, but okay. he can't leave the boat. Right. Um, As he's did, bait. Did you, did you, I mean, that, did that's what bait? the captain, the captain called him the bait. He called right. himself bait. Yeah. He's bait for whatever they're doing tonight. That sounds tomorrow. like it's going to end terribly. And I guess the leeches were after him. Huh. Is no one going to address the snake? Well, no, Liza's not here yet. We're oh. having this conversation. Okay. Well, I, I, I just answered, so. Yeah, yeah but we I'm assumed you weren't. We assumed you weren't here yet. Oh, okay. So I'm not in the room then. Okay, I'm thinking. So. I'm thinking. Alexa had something that she wanted to talk to this. Just this uh, the three about. Of us. Okay. Yeah. Uh, unless, unless I'm misreading. I don't. Okay. Think I do. I mean. Then. Then. then... I think Lexa's completely like. <laughs> done yeah <laughs> okay i mean so, Cal- 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 so i mean kelvin and jelly can absolutely they I both absolutely if- know that lexa lied to them <laughs> when she said she was fine yeah but she's okay. not going to talk about it tonight pretty sure uh, anyone who says that they're fine is lying <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so then eliza yeah will come in with the snake around her neck and um she'll notice lashes and and she'll say hi lashes it's it's good to see you and um uh, oh you're asking about the it, this is churro mm. yeah they're a snake job. they're a snake Good now job. i just oh, look okay. at i look at lexa uh, and then i look back at eliza are you okay not really <laughs> no one's okay right now no. so no. stop asking everybody <laughs> I think it might be worth getting involved to protect um, Roberts, possibly. Okay. I like well, to talk to him. But I want to talk to him before tomorrow if I can. Well, or we can. I mean, yeah, but now we have to find Riley. She's probably not far. How did you lose Riley? I didn't lose her. She walked she out. Took her blood. <laughs> <laughs> So Eliza is going to text Riley and, and uh, respond to the text saying, I- I'm okay. I just needed a moment. Churro's a snake now. Uh, <laughs> do you want to, we're kind of all together. Lashes is here. Did you want to come back? Yeah, I'll and text back. Yeah, I'll, I'll come back. And a few minutes later, Riley's back. Literally. Was Seems like a outside. good place to call it once we all mm-hmm. get together again. Except yeah, for Roberts. I was thinking that. Unless Roberts yeah. wants to respond. I mean, yeah, he would just text back saying, like, can't leave the ship. <laughs> Maybe I'll come uh, see you. Working, working, uh, working on working on a thing. <laughs> you can just jelly will be like, I'll bring the beer <laughs> to you. <laughs> oh, this is this is gonna be fun if we gotta go to the ship and Lex, I can't remember riding a broom. You don't, that is you correct. Don't know. <laughs> I mean, we don't know if he will, but let's leave that for the sea for next mm-hmm. time. It's good just, thing uh, that you got have, lessons. Riley, just have Lex on your back. <laughs> <laughs> Piggyback ride. <laughs> and on one hand, we on one hand we probably shouldn't go back to the ship because the more we go there, the more we're seen, possibly seem to be aligned with the captain. So, but they may not know the ship's there exactly where it is pretty sure right. they well, don't well they know he's around yeah Lex's but they father got very nervous is. when i said oh captain my captain <clears throat> yeah and you just proved that a scrying spell is possible yeah wow i was thinking that some deep stuff deep stuff happening all right well let's leave let's leave it there i'll let you decide uh for next time 
uh, how you want to proceed as we get into Shit. the second half of our finale. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Do we, oh, so first we're gonna do, I'm like, do we wanna check out? It's getting a little late. <laughs> My brain's starting to mm -hmm. not work as much. Um, first, let's give out some adversity tokens for our play. Um, people who we feel um, played their characters, their flaws very well, um, or played into any of their fears. Oh, come on, that Lexa. Yeah. And Eliza and yep. Riley and Calvin for that whole book reveal, blood reveal thing. So, oh God, how many can we give? <laughs> I think just one. I know, I know, I know. You got you got to split one four ways. Um, no, so you each get a quarter. <laughs> yeah, I've got lots of tokens to burn through next time. No, y'all got a token. You get a token. You get a token. You get a token, and you get a token. <laughs> um uh Lara, did Laura, did you uh put a long sword in your uh school bag? No, but I'm going okay. to go ahead and add that. Because I, I have like two, so I'm like, because one was definitely going to Riley. So now I have one. Did Lexa get a sword? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know who gave her to her because no one gave her a sword. Well, there's a sword for we, you. We have swords. We just haven't, we haven't handed it to you yet. That's well. Why well, has it just left it on the ground for you? Yeah, you know. <laughs> there's your sword. Pick it up. Cling, cling, cling. <laughs> there's your sword, biatch. <laughs> I think they're mad. Uh, that, that's Take probably it before it. I choke and slap you with it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that whole moment where it's like i want to choke and slap you right now <laughs> Is well, i almost want to give a token to to oh. scott just for his reaction yeah. and he's just like he was just finger snapping over there, like, well, played. well played is eliza I I, gonna I have to choke a bitch <laughs> i don't time. know who is handling this better eliza or riley <laughs> One is holding it in, and the yeah. other one's like, <laughs> "I I really think that um, the changing your chip, uh, uh, Tanil changing uh, Eliza's chipmunk into a snake is uh, very a very cool moment of role playing, and I'm very interested to see like how that change plays out." terms of like how she connects with that so i definitely think like eyeliners and doc martens next like she's gonna go full goth soon Calvin's gonna be so trust confused. no one <laughs> the world is dark All right, so we've got one for Calvin, Riley, Eliza, and Lexa, all for their play in that. Um, I'm going to give you one to you, Jelly, for uh, I liked playing that scene with you with Professor Feist. Yeah, that was good. That was a good idea for sure. I had a feeling he might not be as on the wrong side of things. Yeah, I, I actually went back and like watched that scene that we played out a few episodes ago um, to try and remember how I, I played that exactly. So I, I didn't want to make everyone against you. You can trust some professors, Eliza. Just be careful which ones you trust. Uh, yeah, she's definitely going to be more cautious about that. I, I definitely think Scott should get one just because of his reactions through the night of some of the <laughs> things that I think Scott was not aware of at all from the last time. I feel break. like I need to go back and watch this episode and watch Scott's face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Scott had some interesting reactions for sure. <laughs> I enjoyed it, but when, we, when we're done, when we're off the air, I have many questions. <laughs> many, many questions. Uh, but uh, at least I finally understand the whole stealing your blood thing that we've 
that you guys we've been around? tiptoeing around. <laughs> yeah, I I knew it out of character, but I yeah, I just had to immerse myself into believing I didn't know anything. <laughs> well, well, and also remember, like way back in one of the first episodes, Calvin had Professor Zell drink that potion to forget like what happened like five minutes before that, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There was a reason he had that. Po- and and Lexa was like, I thought we weren't doing that anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yeah. And it had to do with them stealing people's blood and making them forget about it. Yeah. So I have questions. <laughs> yeah, some definite questions around around consent and everything. And and I think when we do our debrief, I was actually like making some notes to myself about um, some of the things I want to talk about as a as a GM about like how we've kind of evolved with with looking at some of those things also, particularly like player agency and everything. Yeah. So it, it's kind of interesting to think about, at least for me as as we've been playing. So class schedule. Class schedule, yes. Um, Lexa, I know you did some defense and healing. I did. So take a mark in that. Cool. So that's two. Yes. And then I can level up. Yeah. So you will. I, I've just been so. Um, take up. You know what is it? I f- I keep forgetting if it's trained in or trained skilled in. in. I think it's trained in is the first one. Plus one. So right. it'll be a plus one to a magic roll. So you get to, I'll let you choose whatever makes sense right. for magical defense and healing. So, I mean, with defense, it could be grit or. It just can't be brawn. the same it one just... that you have one in, right? Yeah. Yes. Or you use charm for the healing. Um, it could be in charm also. You just can't have two. Tr- you can't be trained in the same thing. Yeah, twice. Right, right. You can have a plus one from something else. You can't have it like be trained in grit yeah. twice or something. Yep. Okay. I, I thought of my scrying spell as a portal thing. I open a portal that you can't go through, you can just see through. Okay. And I think of my summoning class as where I'm studying portals. Sure. That's why I took it because I want to yeah. learn. Yeah, take a, take a mark in that class then. I once again got through a whole session without casting any magic. I should have taken like muggle studies. I'm getting so many. I'm getting so many. Calvin should have also. I um I changed my chipmunk into a snake, so I use my charm magic. Well, so what class is that there? though? Did you charm charm, charm? magic? Okay, sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I still I still take charm magic. Okay. Uh, Riley no longer does, but I still no. Do. I'm in all my classes with Lexa. Riley, did you learn anything about like the history of Salem and occult studies? Sure, <laughs> sure, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I learned a lot about. Oh, well, that's not a lot, but not a lot <laughs> about my blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think Calvin did anything to like further his studies. I think Lashes is right. <laughs> I'm trying to give you a hint Lashes. with an NPC here. It like, right. I don't think you've act- I don't think Ooh. Calvin is really actually focused on school at all. You need to study more. Hey, just like Roberts. If that's a if a, if I have occult studies, I get a second one. Is that your second mark? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you can. So this is my second mark in, in magic and in charm magic. So so you also take a a, a trained in to trained add in. to one of your magics. I'm going to say that that one, if you don't already have it, will have to be in charms. If you're not mm-hmm. already trained in charm magic, if you are trained in charm magic, then choose the next thing that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I am. I'm trained in charm magic and flight okay. magic. Um, Grit might be a good one for today's game. Oh, what what is the difference between grit and fight? Because I'm like, I'm thinking fight. Grit isn't probably more like a defense, like yeah. So grit would be like if you're resisting, um, kind of like taking a hit, right? Yeah. Uh, on something, and and how well you're going to be able to like resist that. Um, brawn would be more 
uh, kind of standing your ground and not getting knocked back in some ways, or like barring a door or something like that from somebody coming through. A um, fight is just that, right? You're the offensive now. Yeah. Um, yeah I'm going to take want? fight magic. Anything How does that relate to your terms class, though? Man, I have no idea. And then, <laughs> like, it's got to be related in some way to that class that you're leveling up in, I'm going to say. I know you already have charms, but um, I do like the idea of grit because you've kind of had to build some resilience through this episode. You're influencing today. your own thinking. Yeah. So this is charm. All right. I don't see how grit relates to charm, but you're the game master. You're keeping someone safe mentally yourself. Yeah. Yeah. The where one of the descriptions in the book. All right. Um, oh, I guess I can see it that way. Anybody else for their classes? Taking any marks? Um, Roberts, what classes do you have? <laughs> mm -hmm. Roberts, have you ever gone to class? I have. Oh, I've you have. Seen... I was there. I, I I have gone a number of times, and uh, I I've, I've gone to History of Magic twice at least because I marked it twice, and I've gone to my Transfiguration class twice, or I've 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 done Transfiguration stuff yeah. twice. Transfiguration. What else? Charms. Third? Charms. And I've never taken anything in Charms because. The couple times I've done magic, they were transfiguration magic. Take a mark in charms. Uh, you were definitely making a protection charm with the captain. Oh, I was. I'll totally take that. Yeah. Um, you weren't doing great at it, but he was helping you along. <laughs> matter. Did it. All right. Any other any other classes that anyone has? Lexa, for you, did you have anything? Uh, I forget if we went through. Yeah, I had the magic, a little defense and healing. I also yes. have, I also have occult studies, but um, I don't. I don't know. think you really learned yeah. anything new about occult studies. I think you no, actually I just shunned learned it a little bit. Learned. She did some healing. She, I mean, uh, yeah, healed Riley's scar. Yeah, I got that. Um, but I mean, I did learn new things about like uh, Riley's page. But other than that, I didn't really learn anything occult wise. Or engage it in that way all right well, i think most that gives yeah. for most people except for calvin i guess because uh, calvin is just eating magic brownies <laughs> yeah all right um although you you did your potions last time and i think we got a mark for your potions yeah. last time and everything i i have been getting uh marks in magical defense and healing so i'm actually pretty far along on that so taking that class um all right so that i think that brings us to our checkout then menachem so we had a lot of uh emotion tonight and changing feelings and complex feelings from at least uh four of our cast and maybe to a lesser degree the others so did you in your or someone else's play tonight, did you see how, what did you see from your character's behavior that taught you something or gave you understanding about your own behavior in complex situations? I'm trying to word this question right. So did I get it clear enough for you? Uh, I don't think I quite understand. Are you trying to ask like how we, how uh, characters, actions or words, how we empathize or relate to how a character spoke or acted in today's session? Well, I was kind of getting into what did we, what might you have learned from some of the characters' responses, right? 
I was thinking, I was thinking of that word, Chenille. Also, what did you learn from what the play that transpired tonight? What affected you? What inspired you? Would you go? Oh, I could do that or do that different, Lee. What did you learn? Well, I learned that you shouldn't keep a bunch of crazy secrets from all of your friends. <laughs> <laughs> because it's really fucking bad <laughs> especially if you're stealing their blood <laughs> especially yes it seems like a very specific situation uh yeah but yeah <laughs> i think keeping keeping secrets from from people that you care about uh things that could be that could be very hurtful uh probably discuss that with them you know maybe a little sooner than than uh lexa and calvin did but yeah so i feel like the the scene between lexa and riley i could very much emotionally put myself there that those moments when it's like, you know, you screwed up and it doesn't matter if you apologize. Like there's no, there's no explaining your way out of it. Right. You just have to like hope the other person forgives you. Um, yeah. Yeah. What did I learn? Uh, maybe I just remember those situations suck and like <laughs> think, well, it's really interesting. Some of the consent things that came up in tonight's game also, right. Like, think before you do things right like just because somebody tells you that you need to do this if you don't think it's right like it's really interesting some of those situations that came up right also Menachem you saying for your character Jelly that uh well they would have willing to go so far as to kill somebody that didn't or at least attempt to kill somebody that didn't uh, follow along and like, yeah. So I don't know, what did I learn? I don't know, I guess I could relate. Like, these are all difficult situations. Like, how do you, how do you nap? And having to be like somebody young and trying to figure these things out is, is really, really a challenge, right? I think a lot of us have probably been in one of those situations where we're just like, Ah, shit. <laughs> like when do, like you don't want to, you don't want to admit it because you know there's no explaining it. But. Yeah. Kayla. Ah, uh, what did we learn? So I don't know if I learned anything new uh this it was really important for me that lexa took accountability for what happened um and we can like talk about that like during the debrief we can talk more in depth about that um so i think just in general it, the scene reinforced that regardless of, of how much it sucks, um, holding ourselves accountable to the people that matter to us and ourselves is should be a priority um, because that's how you, that's how you show people who you really are, right? Um, if you're willing to own the really shitty stuff that you do, um, and find ways to repair that harm even if the harm like even if it's not going to be completely repaired or repaired in the same way it's important to like address and be accountable for for the harm um and um i think it'd be an understatement to say that that harm was caused so yeah. um yeah you're you're up, Lara. <laughs> um, for me, it was interesting, 
kind of reflects on my own growth. If when I was about Riley's age, on either side of that, I would have acted differently. I would have not owned up to my shit. Maybe eventually, but also I. I was the kind of person who would like let someone hurt me and just e- either ha- cling on to them or I would like not physically fight, but I would, I would have been yelling and screaming and throwing things and, and all of that. Um, so kind of reflecting on that, I've learned that I have it in me to not do those things um, because this was this was close to some experiences I've had with some toxic exes not saying Lex is toxic she's trying now <laughs> <laughs> but the behavior was not yeah cool <laughs> yeah and my cat says it's not cool either that's right I know, I was about to say. <laughs> I I was that was cat my cat for a second I was like what are you doing <laughs> No, Leia was in my lap and decided to. She's like, "That's right, lap. mom. You tell That's them. right. Don't let people walk all over you." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Awesome. All right, I'm done. Go on, Tanya. Okay. Um, I think that. I yeah, I think that it, like if uh, if somebody had uh, done something like this to to Tanya. Um, like she, she, uh, I, I would say like, typically I'm, I'm very composed, um, when I'm told news like that. Um, and I don't really let, like the anger doesn't really come until like later. And then I start to see and then I feel it and then I deal with it privately. Um, but I really wanted to immerse into Eliza and, uh, really think about like, being like feeling betrayed by by the teachers that she is like seriously seriously kiss so much ass um and to be so betrayed um like you know like that's like marinating in her brain and then to hear this from from her friend and from her boyfriend um like she was gonna lash out a bit um uh and uh like I'm sure that anger is gonna come out but despite the betrayal she's still you know she really is a a loyal character um and uh I think I learned a lot about that uh from Eliza um and how she's interacted and how you know like that moment when she looks at everybody in the eye and says if any of you fight I'm gonna be there like um and I think it it kind of reminded me of that scene where we were in the basement um of that party that Halloween party and Jelly was going for it and stuff and I mean everybody was leaving but it was like no Jelly's still here like I can't I can't let him like just be here by himself like I have to be there Um, and that that was just a part of Eliza's character that just came out without me even really thinking about it and so I'm learning definitely a lot about her and about a lot about her layers and um, there's definitely going to be more to see I think I also learned something when Jelly was like uh hello Eliza you're here. <laughs> or nice um, to meet you, or Eliza. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you, Eliza. Um, that was that was a beautiful moment. I, I learned <laughs> a lot of things uh, from who who Eliza is, and and also who Jelly is, um, and his perception. So that that was pretty cool. All right, Scott, you're up. So I, <laughs> I had this moment um, when, when uh, Tanil, you said, uh, 
um something about like when i when i was just retconning like i gave everyone a sword from the same batch and and you're like oh yeah of course you wouldn't have told us you would never tell us and it's uh to me historically it's always been difficult to kind of play things close to the chest um and yet i'm playing a character that was, and i'm like oh this is actually really you just don't Sorry. say anything Menachem knows me. I've right. hung out with Scott a lot. He does not hold things close to the chest. <laughs> and, and so it's just so, uh, it, it, so, you know, I, I almost. You're really exploring this part of you. I, uh, no, I really did learn something today. I hate it that it was, it, your, your comment, like that one little moment, I literally, like in my head, I was just like, oh. This is really easy. Just don't say shit. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So, you know, I did have a lot of moments of empathy. Um, It's really fun getting to be um, an active listener uh, because uh and and when i'm not doing therapy because i can just like sit here and like put myself in your all your all shoes and it's 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 awesome like the awkwardness between lexa and riley that like grew and then suddenly pivoted uh (laughs) uh that grew and suddenly pivoted um when when lexa revealed like what she had done like that uh that felt really profound um that was a really cool moment and just emotionally like observing that and learning from that was was a really satisfying it definitely reconfirms for me like just be honest with people it's just so much easier so uh menachem well that made me think that i really was enjoying the kind of depth of the love that jelly has for calvin lexa and lashes and the different ways that love is expressed even when you're calling them a dumb shit you know you know and the back of the head slap and the arguments that i had over the probably growing up for years you know telling telling to cut the shit you know and um <clears throat> and i was thinking it's quite likely that I don't know that they took the blood of the my other two friends, right? Because they stopped before I came back, and I might not even know about the assignment. Maybe they either assigned it, but then I also, when I rebelled, maybe I thought they rebelled. I don't know. So it's quite possible. But I kind of was acting as if I knew. Like so, maybe off. It didn't happen on camera. Maybe off camera, you guys told me. I don't know. But when I when I started when Eliza started going and you knew about this, you know, it's like if you know something terrible has gone on and you don't. <laughs> Yeah. You don't take action. You know, that's, you know, what's the, you know, only, only what only thing evil needs to succeed is to allow good people to do nothing. You know, not yeah, that I, you guys are evil. I, I actually really felt for you at that moment. Yeah, I did too. I was like, oh, man. oh shit. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I don't that was a good moment. It. I, I saw it on your face for you. We, you had the re- realization also, like, oh, I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not in a good place in this all either. Like I did know this. That that's also a kind of yeah. crummy place to be yeah. in. I love that Riley was like, I didn't even think about that. Because <laughs> <laughs> Eliza thinks you know, about a lot of things. And and Riley's the intuitive one, but that shows how much she's like <laughs> overwhelmed. <laughs> the fuck. By, but I mean, like the person that you that Riley connected with like emotionally like you hear from her saying i love you and i did this awful thing i'm so sorry like yeah. it, that's a lot to take in like all at once well yeah. and, i was thinking that you, there was the, you, get a you had kiss. your first kiss and yeah. yes. <laughs> lexa woke up and then lexa's like oh i gotta tell you something also like that yeah. just swing of emotions like that. Right? Like she's been unconscious for like, <laughs> and I've been worrying a day, for a and day. you've been worrying, and you've and been you've tired. Hardly slept. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's a lot. 
that ooh, I got I got some ideas on things. But anyway, um, yeah, no, Riley, and then there's the thing that Riley Riley loves Lexa and doesn't know what to do with that now. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, <laughs> there are some crazy <laughs> relationship things going on. Yeah, so two well, puns. Yep. And, and mm-hmm. I and I very much enjoy that with this, um, you know, in the kind of like era of first year at college that we're playing in also, you know what I mean? I think of yeah. myself that first year in college, like I had no idea what I was doing, you know, but you know, you, you did the best that you could, right? I mean, that mm-hmm. growing independence and growing sense of self and figuring out who you are, um, I think very much is is at play here. And I love the way that everybody's been playing it. It's- Hold on to all this stuff for the uh, debrief, mm-hmm. right? For sure. <laughs> so to end we'll do the name ritual we'll say our character name we'll repeat it we'll step out of the magic circle and say our player names and everybody will say good night to the players so from well, the top i'm calvin hi calvin good night calvin. Good good night, calvin. calvin and good night everyone i am tim good, good night, night tim, tim. I've been the game master tonight. Good night, good night, 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 night master. master. And my name's Dustin. Good night, everyone. Pleasant good night, Dustin. Dustin. Good night, good night Dustin. Dustin. I've been Lexa. Good night, uh, good night Lexa. Good morning and good night, Lexa. Yeah, welcome back to the land. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I'm Kayla. Good night, good night, good night, night Kayla. Kayla. Good night, Kayla. I've been Riley tonight. Good night, Good night, Riley. Good night, Riley. Good night, Riley. Riley. Good night Riley. Dusty. <laughs> I love it. it gets me every time. <laughs> I'm Laura. Good night, Laura. Good night, Laura. And I've been Eliza Goldenflower. Good night. Good night, Good night Eliza. Eliza. Eliza the Golden Flower Reborn. <laughs> I'm Tennille. Good night, everyone. Good night, Good night Tennille. 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 Uh, Good night. I've been Robert. Good night, night Robert. Good night, Robert. Good night Robert. Robert. Stay safe. And I am Scott. Good night, Good night Scott. Good night, Scott. Good night, Scott. I look Scott. forward to role playing with you hopefully next week. <laughs> Doing some fighting. <laughs> I am Jelly the Jalanthar. Good night, Jelly. Good night, Good night, Jelly. Good night, Jelly. Good night Christian. <laughs> Back and to Tristan. I... I am Menachem. Good night, Menachem. Good night, Menachem. Good night, Menachem. Good night Menachem. Sweet dreams. And, and good night, everybody. Night. Yes, good, good night, night everybody. everybody. Thanks for tuning good night, in. Good night, everybody. For joining us. Come Till next time. The wrap. Yeah, next week for but, part two. But show up on Sunday. Of the Elms Revenge. For, Sunday. For Sunday. Angels on a road Sunday. trip. <laughs> All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.